Good evening. Good morning. Good afternoon, my friends. Good to see you all. We're playing Fallout today. It has been... I just spit all over my mic. Jeez, that's a terrible way to start. It has been forever since we've played Fallout. And the Fallout TV show comes out, I believe, tonight. I'm just pretending to check my watch. I don't... It doesn't actually... It doesn't actually work. Also, I've never really worn a watch on stream. But I'm so used to never taking off anything that goes onto my wrist that when I wore this in Vegas this past weekend, which we will talk about, I just got back from Vegas, had a good time, that was fun. I need to pull up my chat. Where's chat? There it is. But if you're on the VOD channel, good to see you. How are you? <clears throat> oh, there's Chad. Good to see you. My voice might be a little bit gone today. My voice might be a bit gone. It, it's hard to like have a conversation in Vegas without it. yelling. It's just so loud everywhere. <clears throat> but it's Fallout Day, so we're playing Fallout. I'm not sick. I swear I'm not sick. It's just my voice is a little, you know. My voice is a little, uh, what's it called? Scratchy. Or you got the COVID? I don't think I got it. I don't think I got COVID. I did have it earlier, um... At like the end of last summer. Thank you, Colin, sir. Oh, I kicked my ass. Got to immediately head to work, but yay, first stream from my apartment. Lizard sister, did you just get a new apartment? Congratulations. That's awesome to hear. Have a good day at work. Thank you, Colin, sir. Nakoma Von Turkey Stick has arrived. The child support contract should be arriving by courier shortly. I will. Oh, thank, thank you for letting me know. Uh, luckily, I just got a ring Thank doorbell you, installed, so I can ignore them. It's about time you got back. I know. My life was in shambles without you. I'm I'm sure you were struggling pretty hard, Harry. Thank you for five months. Uh, where was I? I was in Vegas. I had to go to a uh, a bachelor party for one of my good friends who's getting married in a couple of weeks. Thank let you, me tell you. Sir. In six months, Juve Junior will have a sibling. Let me tell you, Chet. Hold on one sec. Hold on. I'm Googling. Thank you, kind sir. This. This was me in Vegas. This. Thank you, kind sir. This was me. This was me in Vegas. Luck 10. I'll tell you what. I'm not the biggest, you know, you know, don't don't gamble. But I'll tell you what. Thank you, Colin, I was sir. on fire. It's Twitch baby <laughs> was time, on but fire. don't worry. His name is Rocky Jr. and Rocky will be his father. How much did you lose? I made money. Worth I came second. out of Vegas Cruising second in time in a row back from a transfer. on top. I Perfect beat the timing, house. Juve. <clears throat> However, uh, it is all luck. Worth Every I just happened to last of my bits, but I got to know. Did you beat the house at caravan? Not caravan. If they had caravan in the casinos, though, I would have cleaned house. Uh, mostly blackjack. Thank you. But again, sir. please gamble responsibly. What the heck? Four months. That's pretty juvetacular. DJ Sellers, thank you very much. I'm, I, I just updated my PC and I'm getting a ton of these random... I'm getting a bunch of random, like, notifications and whatnot. I think my computer might explode soon. Did you get a view of the eclipse? No. Not where I'm at. We weren't really even in the plane of it, and it was cloudy out. We had pretty overcast weather. Um, but thank you all. I appreciate it. It's good to see you all. Sorry I had to take a bit of a thank break you, there. Thank you, sir. Half because we had to finish a project, and then the other half, obviously, it was going on a real brief vacation. You can never spend too long in Vegas. Thank you, kind sir. Pingus, pingus. Fritz, I already see the notification, but it's in the queue. Wait, who got married? Emily? I'm a god. How can you kill a god? What a grand Good timing. Someone Pingus. got married. Oh so really a chatter that got married. That's amazing. Shame on you, sweet Fritz, thank you very much for gifting five to the channel. Let me catch thank up on the alerts sir. here. W. I'm the first streamer to actually say your name right. Yeah, I get that a lot. I get that a lot. What's the game today? We're playing Fallout 4 Survival. 
The only real twist is that I've just added a bunch of gun mods to the game. Exclamation point mod list if you're curious the ones that I added. I think all the ones I added have custom animations and custom audio. Because I'm not a big fan of the gun mods that just use vanilla animation or sounds. So we're just going to have some fun. Uh, we are doing Fallout 4 without leaving Far Harbor soon. We haven't played Fallout in a long time. And we... I feel like people have been asking me about Far Harbor for a while. So we'll do that, uh... We'll do that soon. Degenerate deck. Yes, I, I took almost every single one of Degenerate deck's weapon mods. They're all super high quality. Um, Big D swinging. Let's time, catch up on sir. these alerts now. Almost at a year. Listening to a live stream at my new job. It's a good day. Did you get the first person aim fix for the caravan shotgun? I did not. Thank but we'll you see. Kind, sir. Hi, hello, goodbye. Hi, hello, goodbye. Good to see you, Mad Winks. Have a good one. Uh, Ink Knighted, thank you for 10 months. Mad Winks, thank you for five months. Thank, thank you for the prime. Time, sir. Drop Stitch, thank you for 11 months, almost at a year. Congratulations on the new job. Fall for Far Harbor would be perfect if it weren't for thank that damn cube. Time, the damn cube game. Little Jobel came into the world today. I can't believe you weren't there. Oh, Opal, I'll be there next time. Uh, Fritz, thank you again for gifting five to the channel. Carpals, thank you for 14 months. Eating all the mushrooms. Thank you for four months. Good to see you again. Queen Remy, thank you very much for the 160 bits. Mr. Feather, cruising in my ambulance back from a transfer. Perfect timing. Uh, is an ambulance really a responsible concept. place to be watching the stream? Give you handsome motherfucker. Oh, th stop. Stop. You, you're going to make me feel good about myself. Don't be doing that. Mr. Feather, thank you very much. Quinny of the Green, thank what you for God. nine months. Damn it, we're in, I'm, I'm, I'm almost God. at the end of it. What a grand and we're almost there. I'm a God. But it's a good day today. I'm excited. Shame on you, sweet I'm very much looking forward to A, playing Fallout, because we haven't in a really long time. I guess we've played a decent time, amount sir. of New Vegas lately. Hello, Juvas. Always say hi to Bingus. Side note, maybe check out the e crapid combat overhaul. The e The Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Thank you, kind sir. Eek hey, rapid. I was thinking overhaul. last night about how I missed your streams. Hope your good smiles. Thank you, thank you all. I appreciate it. Again, thank I need to I need to figure sir. out how to actually pause uh, alerts for a little yet. bit <laughs> and then let them play out. You know, when designed. I'll put that on my to-do list. Oh, I can't find my to-do list. That's great. Thank you, kind sir. Hello, Jovula. Hope you had a good time in Vegas and made a lot of caps. Can't believe it's been half a year already. Thank you. Thank you, Red Skull. We did do okay. I'm a god. How can you kill a god? Tell him you can't make me... Intoxicating you can't god. make me dance that much. Because then I lose it. Shame on you, or or because then I, you know, I forget the moves. Y'all should have seen me in the club. <laughs> I really wish that that played out because it made me laugh in my head. Uh, but thank you very much. Was that Redfish? Was that the name? Who are, who, where are, are you? Wood elf sisters who always fight together. Claim responsibility of that one. That made me laugh. In my in my head, I laughed. But I was like too busy looking at the other monitor so I could see uh, who sent it. But thanks. I, hopefully my VOD channel is good in bed. Did you act like the Starfield NPCs while in the club? Okay, so I have a few stories from Vegas. Damn, I'm going to be losing my voice all day. Apologies. Um, There was one night where we went to this nightclub. I'm not driving the ambulance. I'm in the passenger seat. Okay, that's good, Feather. I don't think you should be driving it. Definitely. Or, I don't know. Maybe it helps you stay focused. Thank you, kind sir. Thank you for all the fun and laughter, Juvenalia Gaming. Spads, please don't dead name in chat. Incredibly rude. How, how dare you bring up my past? So, I did go to like one massive nightclub in Vegas while we were there, and I was there for all of like 15 minutes. 
and I was just so tired and so spent. And I swear there were like 3000 people in this club. And uh, I just like walked out <laughs> after like 20 minutes and we were able to get in and skip the line to this place because we had rented a cabana at a connecting location earlier in the day. So we got like the yeah, we got to like walk past this huge line. I I insane line. I think Illenium was the headlining DJ at this place. Um, also, do I look like a do I look like somebody that does cocaine? I don't. But uh, we were there for like 15, 20 minutes and I was like, hey, y'all, I got to go. I'm I'm exhausted. I'll find my way back. And as I'm leaving, this lady did like the old, hey, you want to party? It was she was with like her, her boyfriend or uh, maybe co-worker, but they were like, hey, uh, you want to party? And yeah, you know, I had to tell her no. I, I, I did say no. Remember to say no, children. Say no to drugs. I'm a really not a super eventful Vegas trip. We did have a lot of fun. It was good to see a lot of my old friends who I haven't seen in a while. Um, and it, it was a good time. I think the next time I go, I, I would like to make it to a couple of shows. Like I want to go see Chris Angel, uh, Cirque du Soleil. I want to go see some. I want to go see some shows for sure. Club scene is kind of lame anyways. It depends on what you're into. I'm not really into that. I like a dive bar, a place where I can talk with people. Obviously, I like talking a lot because my voice is gone three days later. UFC fight night? That would be pretty wild. Abstinence king. <laughs> thank you, Mr. Mystery. Yes. Uh, Spads, thank you for six months. Aragnus, thank you very much for gifting two subs to the channel. Dogger, thank you for the 100 bits. Callum, thank you for gifting five to the community. Red Skull, thank you for six months. Glorious Havoc, thank you for four months. River Revivified, thank you for eight months. Good to see you again. Sunny Gummy, good to see you again. Thank you for 14 months. The Lady Ironborn, I completely missed that one, but thank you very much for gifting five. Sleep Bubble, thank you for six months. A Wapple, thank you for nine months. I think I'm mostly caught up on those. Quinny of the Green, thank you for nine months. Heffin Maru, thank you for the Prime. Not Explosions, thank you for the Prime. Camera Explosion, <laughs> thank you for 12 months. Harry by default, thank you very much for five months. It's about time you got back. My life was in shambles without you. Well, we have arrived. Hopefully you can have some stability back in your life. Space Lemons, thank you very much for nine months. Lizard Sister, thank you for 19 months. Happy Fallout Day, Becky. Callum, thank you for 10 months. Nerdfighter, thank you for five months. And Riley Chaser, well, this was three days ago, but I still have the alert in the feed. Thank you for the... Is that a Prime? Thank you for the Prime, Riley. Okay. <clears throat> oh, BattleBots as well. Space Lemons? Yeah. Uh, I saw a few signs for BattleBots, and I did tell some of my friends, like, hey, could you imagine if we went to, like, BattleBots tonight? How awesome that would be. What vault are you in? Uh, we are currently in Vault 101. That's why we're playing the Skyrim Tavern music. Right. Oh, we already heard that one. Okay. Time for some real music. They say a man should always dress for the job he wants. So why am I dressed up like a pirate in this restaurant? It's all because some hacker stole my identity. Now I'm in here every evening serving chowder and iced tea. Should have gone to freecreditreport.com. I could have seen this coming at me like an atom bomb. They monitor your credit and send you email alerts so you don't end up selling fish to tourists in t-shirts. Offer applies with enrollment in triple Uh, what in Talos is this? Offer enrolls with, uh, enrollment and triple advantage, I think they say. See, I've played way too much Fallout 3, so I know this is Dad's medical desk. 100%, it is. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's the room where you wake up as a teenager. Should we watch the whole intro? Because it does go pretty hard. It's it's Fallout Day. Let's, wait, hold on. No, the theme song gets claimed. I don't know who's doing it on War YouTube. Never changes. But this intro does go pretty hard. 
In the year 1945, my great-great-grandfather, serving in the army, wondered when he'd get to go home to his wife and the son he'd never seen. He got his wish when the U.S. ended World War II by dropping atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The world awaited Armageddon. Instead, something miraculous happened. We began Slay the Spire too. Energy not as a weapon, but as a nearly limitless source of power. People enjoyed luxuries once thought the realm of science fiction. Domestic robots, fusion-powered cars, portable computers. But then, in the 21st century, people awoke from the American dream. Years of consumption led to shortages of every major resource. The entire world unraveled. Peace Is that Anchorage? Became a distant memory. That one? It is now the year 2077. If Ron Perlman isn't in the show I'm writing, I, I would assume that Walton Goggins is going to do the intro. And I am afraid. That would be my guess. It'd be cool if Ron Perlman did for it, though. Myself, for my wife. But that's not Nora. And son. Unless that's like his great grandfather. I mean, the army taught me one thing. Wait, is that actually what Nora's supposed to look like? It's the war. That's default Nora? War never changes. No, I did not know that. <laughs> we are doing the full intro, by the way. I probably could have skipped it. War never changes. Thank you, kind sir. Happy Fallout Day, everybody. Happy Fallout Day, Miss McKiller. Get ready and stop hogging the mirror. Right. Again, cramps the rope. Look, look, Lolo, you're you're about six years too late to the discourse. Uh, maybe we played. Have we played? We've played Nate the last couple times. Oh, wrong one. Get out of the way. Get out of the damn way. Wait, no, no, actually, don't be mean to Nora. I want to play as Nora. Hey, it's my turn, big guy. The hell out of the way. We'll just go stock Nora. Ah, good morning, There's probably a bunch of it's like injecting, I think, all of the weapons I installed into the leveled list. I, we definitely won't see all of them because I think a few of them are higher level. But we'll see. Thank you. Why did I think the bathroom was this door? I'm going to have to move myself. Also, I'm really big. Why am I so big today? I'm not normally that big. Maybe it's my inflated ego after winning so much money in Vegas. I got a big head. Is it just gun mods? For the most part. I always forget how you... Moved. Aren't you just supposed to like walk around until Sean starts crying? Why don't I skip this? <laughs> oh. There we go. There we go. Or is it the second? No, no, no. I think it's this one, right? I know we were nervous at first, but I'm glad we got Codsworth. Enjoy your coffee, Mum. You know, I haven't played this in so long. I'm kind of nervous how well I'll do. Are we on survival? Easy. Oh, did I just expose myself for playing this game casually on easy? I think I had to change it to easy for some B-roll. That's my excuse. I'm still a gamer. 
I'm a, I'm a gamer. Oh, this part. Okay, I forgot about this part. Good morning, vault -Tec calling. No offense, but no soliciting. Oh, no worries, ma'am. No worries at all. I'm not selling anything. Not today. Fake gamer you exposed. No You're right. Then I'm glad. I all, right, all right, let's just let's I blow through this. Sounds great. Oh. Mm -hmm. This will be good practice, though. I got to get sure. reps in before sure. Far Harbor, because starting that DLC at level one is going to be really difficult. OK, we'll name her Far Harbor <laughs> just because we have to get some practice in. Um, And kind of weird, at least when we start Far Harbor, which, again, we won't be doing today. But when we do. In my head, I was thinking that going with explosives might be decent because the enemies will be so tanky. Having a weapon that can chunk them could be pretty good. But like, I'm going to get one tapped for the first 20 hours of that whole thing. Will this be on the bot channel? Yes. Uh, I will just go. I don't know, four strength. I don't mind intelligence. We'll throw that on there. Get a little bit of extra XP. I won't play luck very much. I like endurance and survival, but we'll go mid. We'll go fairly mid with all our skills. Wonderful. That's everything. Keep it pretty I'm basic. Walk this over to the vault. Congratulations on being prepared for the future. Um, if you can survive landing again. into Far Harbor, you can survive. It's peace of mind. That's worth a little paperwork, right? For you and Sean. No, no price is too high. high. <laughs> it's been so long since I've gone through this intro, I can't remember the lines. Oh, what do you mean? Codsworth can't say the name Far Harbor? Alright, y'all, let's get ready. Time to die. Is there a challenge today? Not really. We, we just have some weapon mods in our game. I was thinking of doing whenever I die, the stream trouble. ends. Hey, I fixed that mobile on his crib the other day. Why don't you give it a spin? I already spun in. The baby didn't stop crying earlier, so I'm not sure what changes now. That's my boy on his best behavior, just like his dad. Well, most of the time. Listen, after breakfast, I was thinking we could head to the park for a bit. Weather what does Nora say when she... Hits on him. Oh, right. The park. With you. Because I want to get pregnant again. Sir? Fair. Um, <laughs> Wait, does that mean that Sean was conceived in a public park? Did we just get lore? Worth every septum. Hey, job, job. It's time for my semi buy. Tri weekly repeat of an old joke. Just making sure which chat stays consistent. What joke? Which mods are you using? Nothing crazy. Like, mostly just small little fixes along with weapon mods. But if you want to look at the weapon mods we added, exclamation point mod list. Sounds of explosions. We're trying to get confirmation. What? We seem to have lost contact with our affiliate stations. Oh, no. We do have... We do have coming in. That's, um... I think that's pretty critical lore, though. I think we just proved... For the first time, that Sean was in fact a mistake. Pennsylvania. My God. All right, let's go. Oh Always gotta to dust go him on the way. Now. No, 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 bad, bad tune. No, no, no. Why, why is he gonna play the same tune? I wanted to play something jazzy. You know, for the run to the vault. Heading to lunch and then you have three hours of meetings. Good luck. Get out of here. All right, let's go. We need to get in. We're on the list. Infant, adult male, adult female. Okay, go ahead. Thank you. 
Good luck, sir. Follow me. Come on. Go What's gonna happen to all those people outside the gate? You know, realizing the Sean is a mistake makes him way more relatable. Because another fun fact about me is, if you didn't all know this, he's fine. We're gonna be okay. I was a fairly shocking revelation to uh, <laughs> some of my family. Wait, stare at it. It's like the Eclipse 2.0. Did you guys see that um, when the eclipse happened, which by the way, lived up to the hype, not gonna lie, the pictures were really, really cool. But did you guys see the map that plotted Google trend searches of my eyes hurt alongside the path of the solar eclipse? We're okay. What are we doing? <laughs> what are we doing? up the stairs in an orderly fashion. No need to worry, folks. We'll get everyone situated in your new home. Vault 111. A better future. Like, I don't want to say that you would deserve yes, up the stairs. impaired vision for the rest of your life. Oh, but man, if you're going to stare at a solar eclipse. Thank you, kind sir. You'll need your suit before we can take you further. But now, just follow the doctor here. He'll show you. Thank you, Daniel. All right, you three. Follow me. It's gone. Our home. Did your parents legally name you Juvenalia Gaming? Yes. My middle name is Gaming. What if they didn't make it? I know this is a difficult time. Oh, we'll be going checking everyone off the list. Isn't the solar eclipse? Like, doesn't it do so much damage? Because it's the same power level of staring at the sun if it was like 95 degrees and sunny outside, but the moon kind of blocks you from feeling damage. So it's almost like the sun gets like a stealth attack bonus. Okay. Isn't that how it works? The pod will decontaminate and depressurize you before we head deeper in the fall. You're playing New Vegas, but it keeps crashing? That you're just playing New Vegas. <laughs> you're just, just playing through it. How many mods do you have? Occupant vitals. Thank you, kind sir. Hi, June. Procedure complete. Yeah, like the sun gets an extra stealth roll. It rolls a D4 on top of its normal D20. Three. Along with advantage. One. Thank you, kind sir. Shane, thank you for 16 months. Uh, Serto Bost, thank you for four months. Timmy Bucket, thank you for 15 months. Also, Jazzpime, what was the bi-weekly joke you make? What, what's the repeat of the old joke? Did I miss it? During full eclipse, you don't damage your eyes? Do you ever enter the room and go, it's juvin time? No, but it'd be kind of funny if I did that in private and was denying it now. Like every time I came into my office or sat at my PC, like it was some kind of mechanized villain chair. Oh yeah. It's Juven time. Honestly, just saying it makes my it just feels gross coming out. All right, I'm not good at timing it with a sad song like Jabo is. <laughs> Say a man should always dress for the job he wants So why am I dressed up like a pirate in this restaurant? It's all because some hacker stole my identity Now I'm Should have gotten a free credit report he, Maybe he would have survived He could have survived We already heard that free credit song though, okay? Have you been informed that the Danish word for speed is fart? and that a speed check is called fart control. Damn, that means I was controlling my speed really well on the plane back from Vegas. Whew, I was absorbing that shit. I wasn't gonna like have friendly fire in my, you know, I, I didn't want the innocents that were in my line of fire to get harmed by what was building up inside of me after that trip. 
So I took one for the team. As a Dane can confirm. I should wear a cape. You're, you know what, you're right, actually. I deserve, I, <laughs> I deserve kudos. You know what, hey, Delta. I think I deserve a free flight. Reason, I didn't fart. And I really wanted to. Like, every 10, 15 minutes. All right, I'm not gonna take a single hit. Small challenge, get through the dungeon without getting hit. One down. Let's get started on collecting some food. Giant roaches? What the hell? <laughs> Gosh, it has been so long since we've played this. I'm actually really excited. Distance makes the heart grow fonder, you know? Okay, I can block this. Easy. No, that, okay, I got hit. That one didn't count though. No, we won't kill that one. See, see, now I'm on. Now I've got the timing down. Also, it's kind of strange being able to just loot normally because the last time we played this, you know, we were doing our <laughs> incredibly painful Iron Man rule set. It's a rare treat to see you unfall. It's a rare treat to play it when we can. Someone's got this locked. Uh, just because we have had so much Skyrim stuff that's been that I've wanted to get to, had a lot of fun doing. All right, let's fry them up real quick. Ooh. Okay, all right, I gotta get used to shooting stuff, all right? It's different. I'm better with magic and swords and precision and all the mods that we have in Skyrim now. <gasps> all right, come on, we only took one hit going through this dungeon. What's the next video you have cooking? I think we will do... Well, we're gonna do a video on the Endless Dungeon. And it'll be a bit different because it's not really like a character-based narrative, right? It's more about the mechanics of the mods that we used. So we'll see. It's still pretty early going. It'll probably be another week or so until we get it in a position where it's about ready to be finished. We'll probably keep it a little bit shorter. A cooking video? Vault door cycling sequence initiated. Please stand back. Okay, wait, hold on. I just realized. Okay, so we're not recording. Yeah, the little the little theme tune goes pretty hard over the vault door opening. ASMR video when? Did I make a mistake including that bit before Benor jumped off the cliff? <laughs> Did I make a mistake including that bit and now people are going to ask for ASMR content? Best part of the video. You know what's kind of funny is the second to last night before we had to finish that video, I was meeting with editor Isaac and I had like a light bulb go off in my head and I was like, wait, I think I can get a shot in game that makes it look like Benor is jumping off the cliff after the egg. And I think it turned out pretty well. Cause like I had the song and I was like, oh, okay, if the song like reached this crescendo, I think it would be great if Benor just came off screen diving towards the egg. 
And I got very lucky that it ended up like right as he crested. But what's funny is when I went in game to get that shot, I think I told you guys this last stream. When I went in game to get that shot, or maybe I didn't tell you guys this. Anyway, I had to like set up, put him in position and all of that. And when I had him on the cliff in game to like try and set up the shot, he just ran off the cliff on his own. So I did at least get to see, you know, behind the scenes what happened to him. I think just the AI pathing in that section of the map is really awkward. So he just ran off. <laughs> he was not a hero. He did not go to save the egg. He just fell off. May I call you Juvenalia, Octavius, Oberon, Victor, or Juve for short? Eh, by all means. As if you're ignoring the med box. Did I miss a medical box? I don't need meds. Y'all forget I'm actually crazy good at these games. All right, let's hit up Codsworth. Clear this part out. Sorry, Please. buddy. Thank you, kind I do sir. like Codsworth quite a lot, but I, I want to get to, you know, See you. I want to find some, find some of these weapons. Uh, that means Susan thank you very much for 11 months. Good to see you. How are you? What? Sounds like you're leaving. That's okay. Catch you later. Have a wonderful week. I'm honestly not sure what level the weapons start to drop. I know a few of them are overpowered. The service rifle is really overpowered. The 9mm high power, incredibly overpowered. Uh, I'll, I think I'll just go intelligence. Mom, here you are, Mom. Now, leaving so soon? Was it something I said? Bingo. A little bit, a little bit, Codsworth. I want to find a cool gun. I'm so positive and wholesome. <laughs> I don't know if you've ever seen me get mad at a challenge. I have my moments. I definitely, I definitely have my moments. Be kind of funny if none of the guns I added, like, popped up at all for me. And I do have a weird feeling that might occur. Let's get beer bottles. Collect some dirty water. Locks really strong. No, it's not. I'm kidding. It's advanced. It's not really strong. It's kind of strong. Locks relatively strong to other locks, but weaker than others. Also, you got to be pretty good at lock picking to be the judge of how strong a lock may be, right? There they are. Okay. All right. I'm going to hit this shot. All right. Nope. Okay. Never mind, never mind. Let's. Not a stealth archer. Why? Damn, the blowflies are so hard to hit in this game. They just have a really wild movement pattern. Like an assassin, I'm like James Bond, or Jane Bond, Nora Bond. She is an attorney, right? Sweet. Take it, we'll take it, pipe pistol. I guess I'll grab it just in case I need the extra shots. All right, where do we start? I mean, I definitely want to be using guns. Lone Wanderer is pretty good, but we'll probably take a follower. Chemist, I don't know. What do you guys think? You got the free credit report song stuck in your head? That's good, then. You'll always be reminded of how you can check your credit score for free. This is not sponsored. 
My gun nuts, uh, scrapper's not too bad. Especially early on. I don't know, is that a weird pick? Wait, yeah, that's a big question. Which uh, free credit report song is stuck in your head? I don't really know what of that I need. Nah, let's just... The next part's not too hard. Let, let's get to... Let's just go down the street. Um, I've been thinking... You're... The Red Menace. I have an idea. All right. Lead the way. Do you get XP from this first quest? I'm a VOD watcher and this is my first time live stream. Purple singing llama. Good to see you. How are you? Thank Welcome. You kind, sir. One whole year. Cheers, Jude. That is pretty wild, Kamurko. How are you? Kill the insects. Okay. Quest complete. He didn't even check. He's already like, oh, I've done everything I can. What do you, did you not check the neighborhood in the last 200 years? Thanks for trying, Codsworth. You can't keep up, Mum. Thanks for your help, Codsworth. Good luck, Mum. I shall remain here. That is kind of sad, though. If he just waited at home, maybe he had like a programming thing that didn't allow him to leave the house. He just had to stay on the front yard. Oh, you know what mod I want to play with is uh, um, Sim Settlements. I haven't used that mod in so long. It's really, really good. Every hey, Jim. Spent hey. a lot of time in hospital recently and watched oh. most of the videos on the VOD channel. Thanks for helping me through such a tough time in my life. Hey, I hope you're feeling better. Midsummer Wanderer, thank you very much. That was very kind of you. Hope you're doing well. Whoa, whoa, why? Who converts purified water into dirty water? What is the point? Uh, I guess there's certain crafting recipes that only take dirty water, but I'm thinking like logistically, why would you smash up wood chips into your water? Grenades, okay, all right. I know I shouldn't be impatient, but I already am kind of impatient. Like, all right, I want to try one of these new guns. 12 gauge round. Oh, double barrel. There's a caravan shotgun in here. I want that one. We'll take the double barrel, though. It's decent. Barcelona or PSG? So Juventus has to be my team, right? For soccer, European football, English football. It's got to be Juventus, right? Hey, boy. What are you doing out here all by yourself? You want to come with me, pal? It's so hard to say no to dog meat. I do love dog meat. Okay, then. I just think the mocap is awesome. The vibe of this rendition of dog meat, I love it. Honestly, one of my favorite Fallout followers just ever. Like the way that they run, they, they, they just feel... I love that dog. Juventus has a ban in European competition. Wait, why? Who's your NFL team? Bear down. The Chicago Bears. And all right, I know there's some people out there who are like, oh, he likes the Bears. What a loser. You know what? Hey. Shut up. Why do these guys take forever to spawn in, by the way? Dog meat's always doing something. That stupid radio, I'm turning it off. <laughs> Where are the mole rats? Ah! Thank you, kind sir. Poggers. I still got it. 
Never, never say I went away. Where'd you go? Where were you? I was training. I was training in the art of the gun. Of the casted bullet. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You ready for this? Gaming. Okay, not a very- that wasn't very impressive. I had to at least try it. Casted- yeah, like thrown. Or like casted like a spell. Is casted the past tense or would it just be cast? I have casted a spell before. I have cast a spell before. Shit, it's just cast, right? Cast it sounded better. Don't worry about my grammar. Every septum. Juvia Raguba. I know. Thank you, Link. So let me ask a question. Who in chat has been to Vegas before? Hold on, I might we can actually die here. Just New Vegas? Only New Vegas? I have and it sucked. Okay, New Vegas doesn't count. Who in here has been to old current day Vegas? Oh my lord. I love how Preston just watches you shoot a bunch of raiders in the back. Like, I didn't really do anything that impressive. I just kind of cleaned up for him. And he's like, at least I know Gaib. You must lead our people. Cheer 100, cheer 100. You, you may get mad sometimes, but we all still love you for it. <laughs> Thank I'm you. glad I could catch you on a chill stream today. Glad to be here. Thank you. I appreciate you all sticking through my angry moments. My angry... But passionate moments. We're passionate people. That's the only mistake we've ever made. <clears throat> uh, no, but so there's a unique thing. There's a unique thing in Vegas that for at least straight men, if if you are like walking on the sidewalk and you are in a group of like three or more and you appear to be in your 20s or early 30s even, you will be approached every 10, 15 feet by some goblin with a business card that basically is saying like, hey, come to our strip club tonight. Right? Always. E everywhere you go. E every 10 feet on every sidewalk, Always, they're like, hey. You fellas, you fellas want to like all get together in a dimly lit, scary storage closet, get boners at the same time. That sound, come on, sounds like fun. Take my business card. Like they're just handing them out. Thank you, kind All sir. the time, constantly, nonstop. Now, we did not take anybody up on this offer. But there is another sort of twist to this business model where I did kind of sit back and be like, Thank you, kind sir. Huh. They hand you business cards for settlements that need your help. <laughs> they do. They roll through. Hey, about a settlement. Forget the strip club. We got a settlement that needs your help. We need three strapping Vegas young men. Is so crappy. Been there so many times for older brothers travel ball baseball and it's literally like a GTA server in real life. A hundred percent. That is the vibe you kind of get. It's 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 like a GTA server at times. Appreciate it. Thank you, Spads. Um, but but I have to say in terms of the business and the pitch that they make. If you're with OK, just to sort of give you like a sense of what happened to the group that I was with. We had a group of about 14 or 15 and we were walking around. We see this. I, I was just kind of following the group. I wasn't really in the lead. 
we end up going to this huge place. I mean, this place is massive, and there is a line that is so long, it goes out the, it goes like through parts of the casino. It goes out the casino door. It wraps around the building. There is a string hanging off my shirt. Get off. <laughs> this line is massive. And these were the people that were quote unquote on the guest list. I don't know what kind of guest list this was. I have no clue who the DJ was. The venue looked massive, but you could only like peer into the venue and you could hear like the from the outside, but you couldn't really see cool animation. You couldn't really see into it. And there were bouncers everywhere and guys in suits and guys with like the Backstreet Boys on stage headset. Like, come on. Yo, come on. Like, the whole thing, I'm just trying to set the scene for y'all. Anyway, the two guys that were kind of in charge of our group were basically asking the guys at the front, like, hey, how much if we got, like, a table and we had this many people, what would that cost us to, like, get into this sick party? And the guys said $2,800. That was, like, for our group to have its own spot maybe have a bottle of booze to share between the group, which would probably go pretty quickly because we did have a very sizable group. So we get that offer, right, for $2,800, which is <laughs> that's pretty expensive to go to a party that's probably too loud that Thank I would not really sir. enjoy all that much. We like to poop. Love to poop. And we're discussing the offer as a group and the large consensus is, nah, that's way too expensive. We'll find something else to do. But here's where the stripper guy with the business card, there's where the business model kind of pops off. I'm not going to lie. They see this group of guys in their 20s to early 30s talking about way too expensive to go into this place. We should, we should go do something else. And there they come, the little goblin out of the corner. They slink over to the group. Hey. Hey. How you doing? Listen, fellas, $2,800 is expensive. And then they give you a pitch where they're like, free limo ride. We'll comp your booze. We'll give you two bottles of booze. Free limo ride for your whole group. All you got to do is get into the club. That's all we ask. And then you're like, you start running the numbers in your head, and it's like, yeah, that, that doesn't sound too bad. <laughs> like, you start thinking through it, it seems like a, you know, pretty decent deal. Uh, we elected not to. We did something else. That's when we ended up at the nightclub I was talking about earlier. We skipped the line because we're sick, and uh, I walked out within 15 minutes. <laughs> it, was, it was just too. I was. I was too tired. Couldn't hang. I've learned that as I've gotten a bit older that I just cannot hang, like in the slightest. I got sleepy. No more British occupation. What's the catch though? Well, the catch of like that is they get you really, really drunk. They get you into their strip club and you know, they hope the allure of boobies will make you, you know, blow all your money. That's essentially the business model. And I think the way it works is the promoter themselves, they basically just get paid for getting people into the limo and getting them to the club. Thank you, kind sir. Pipe bolt action might actually kind of smack early on. Oh, I'm sure it works. Thank you, kind sir. Hey yo Groovy Juvie, thanks for inspiring me to chase my dream and go back to school at 34. How was Vegas? Anthola, best of luck in whatever your studies are. I hope it works out well for you. Vegas was good. We just got done talking about the uh, little strip club gremlins. They're all around. Hey fella. Why go into that party? It's too expensive when you can have your own party. Is this even on survival mode? Am I just that good?
Uh, <laughs> I like the pipe revolver rifle. I've taken so many pipe weapons. We'll ditch the bolt action. Revolver rifle's decent. I'm coming in there, and Thank I'm you, kind sir. Heck yeah, fallout. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, that didn't work. I'm mostly doing this quest just to get it out of the way. We can get uh, more XP. I want to level up a couple times because then I think we'll probably start seeing more of the custom weapons we added. But anyway. If you go to Vegas, you're with a group of people. You know, be smart. Don't let people swindle you. There's quite a few that are going to try to. And you'll have a good time. Man, I don't know who you are, but Judge Hammond's impeccable. <laughs> Preston Garvey, Commonwealth Minuteman. Ah, uh, that ain't it. Excuse me, sorry, Preston. I shouldn't sneeze while you're talking. Maybe I'm just allergic to settlements. Glad to help. God damn it. Well, if that's true, we could use some more goodwill. As you can see, we're in a bit of a mess here. Be smart, tall order there. For me, hey, if I can do it, you can too. Maybe. Nope. Thank you, kind sir. Oh, do you guys want to gamble on how long I can survive? Please, go on. A month ago, there were 20 of us. Yesterday, there were eight. What was your college major? Five. Business information systems. First, it was so I was a business major, L. L. Uh, but I took a couple of programming classes. W. Sorry. Sounds really rough. Thanks. Your first Gamba? It's good to what is the gimmick today? Friends. Honestly, not really a gimmick. Fall for survival. We Throw a cool uh, handful of settle. guns into the game. We'll see if we can pick any up, see how they play. One I mostly just wanted to stream again so I could, like, check back in with everyone. Be like, oh, hey, I'm alive. Old school. Also, the Fallout TV show comes out tonight, Thank so it seemed fitting. Like extra it. slay. <laughs> yeah, extra slay? Am I slaying, or are you extra slay? Mm -hmm. Get the suit. You can rip them. Minigun. <laughs> now we're talking. Oh, the way know, Nora's holding right? that rifle is... <laughs> Only there's one. <laughs> nah. The suit's out of juice. It can't... Uh -huh. I'll help if I can. Look. Right. Actually, I already grabbed the fusion core. All right, sorry, fellas. Sorry, Mama Murphy, you're weird. Careful, kid. Bingo. There's something coming. Why am I getting malware bites updates over the game? These damn pop-ups, they're getting on my nerves. Uh, do you have any advice on writing a thesis for business educations then? I feel pretty lost, struggling with mine. Right from the heart. Actually, don't do that. I don't know. Can you do like for your thesis statement in school? Can you do your tears up the speech moment like they do in the movies? Like, shh, shh. I had written a speech. <laughs> like, Can you start off your paper with that? Asterisk rips entire script apart. Close asterisk. I had prepared research for this assignment, but I figured I would just start and speak from the soul. Yeah, let's do a gamble. Um, are you a particularly big dude? Need someone to look intimidating while me and the girls fuck about on the strip one day. I don't know if you would want me as your bodyguard. I had to tell you that right now. Full, full clarity. I have experience working as a bouncer, but at like a college nightclub where my role was make sure that no you know, teenagers walk into the bar. Not a whole, I think I had to carry out somebody once, maybe twice. I did watch uh, a creepy guy who fortunately was significantly smaller than me. Uh, I did watch him grab one of the waitresses butts directly in front of me. That was insane to see. And it was like, oh my God, thank God I'm somehow bigger than somebody. Uh, okay, we'll do clear core Vega in one life. 
Yes. Believer. Uh, this is going to have heavy non-believers. But if we can clear Cor Vega in one life. Every septum. Ever since you played RimWorld, I've been absolutely obsessed. Do you think you'll stream it again? Oh, I'm, gl I'm glad you enjoyed us playing it. Um, I had a lot of fun playing it. And yeah, absolutely. Up here. Boss! Wait, something's out there. No shit, Preston. We just got done talking about it. That was a nice little shot, though. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. Why don't you get down here? What difficulty are we on? Uh, survival. You know, I think that gun, what gun are you hating Thank on? Thank you, kind sir. Previously, I lost my greater than 30k channel points in a gamba. I'm ready to hurt again. Hey, I learned the lesson hard in Vegas. I learned the lesson hard that the only way to win is to keep gambling. This is not life at war financial advice. Please do not do that. Be smart, make smart choices. What in the, what is that? What's going on? Is that the hitbox? Dog me, get down there. Get down there. Over there. Go down and, oh no. Here. No, 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 you're going down the cool way. Get down there and fight. Defend me. I have to survive Corvega in one life and it starts now. Hey, there you go. Get after him. <laughs> Fuck. I think I got something over here. I didn't work. All right, fine. We'll get the dog out of there. This is a rescue operation now. I'm coming, dog meat. Is that not the coolest way to rescue a dog, though? Superhero landing? killed this death claw in really stupid ways before. We just have to not blow this. You're alright, dog meat. Keep it up, buddy. Just open up his belly. Oh my god. God damn it. Reload. Hurry. Maybe what dog can kill him? That was actually kind of stressful. I thought we were going to blow it. Now to get out of this suit and never use it again. Never been a power armor guy. Corvega storage key. I think that's underneath Concord, right? Cheer 100, cheer 100, Juve. You can take one perk from any Fallout game in real life. Which one are you picking? Uh, if Cap Collector switched to, like, affecting actual cash, 
So I was just always finding cash in drawers. That would be pretty good. Like any drawer I opened up just had the chance of having cash. And if fallout mechanics change to real life, or at least creation engine slash Gamebryo cell based loot mechanics transfer to real life. I only have to like every time I am a week away from being in a cell, it will respawn. Thank you, kind sir. Bing bong. Hello, Juve. So then I'd be able to like double check places. I would be able to like have an infinite money hack. Uh, Black Widow would be pretty good. <laughs> Black Widow would be pretty nice. I could use that one. Um, not for the damage. Not 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 for the ten percent damage buff. A pretty amazing display. I'm just glad you aren't. Ollie Tree, thank you for three months. Spads, thank you for the bits. Mister Mystery, thank you for the bits as well. Gold Neon, thank you for six months. Hope you get your channel points back. Illumi Bean, thank you for the tier one. Stop kidding yourself. You're nothing to me. Far Harbor speaking you know, to base like game Fallout 4. But you still helped us out. Mm -hmm. Listen. <coughs> You're welcome. Well, since you say that. All right, Garvey. Paul, please tell me. I right. I knew it. Please. I uh, please, Mama Murphy. Look. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm just here for we got the XP we needed. Two level ups. Okay, I haven't even used Scrapper yet. Rank two is not for a while. I'm gonna take Aqua Girl, just in case we gotta swim. Could be decent. And throw a point. Cringe, but I'm gonna throw a point in intelligence. Just here, are we doing Far Harbor? We're kind of practicing since I haven't played Fallout 4 in a while. I think it's a little advantageous to jump back in, do a stream, play some survival mode. Hang out with y'all. It's been a little bit. I did turn the no gore mod off. I'm not really sure why it's... Why nobody is exploding. go double barrel. I really want the caravan shotgun. It looks cool. I feel like the problem with a lot of the weapon mods, and I mean, it's not really even a problem of the mods. It's just typically if you're going to add a bunch of content to your game, it's nice to have it in the early game because a lot of time you're going to add some stuff to your game with mods, start a new save, and a lot of it is mid to late game. Which is fine, especially if you've had a playthrough for a while and you want to add some content in. <clears throat> but I wish more of it was like intended for the early game. Oh, that's just terrible. Oh, that's so bad. Oh my God, I'm dead. <laughs> I forgot, okay, I forgot how much damage I take. And the fact that I'm not wearing any armor. I am wearing my wedding ring but love won't protect me. It provides no stats. None. Damn, we don't have any dirty water. Thank you, kind sir. Huge. Dog meat, you can handle that, right? You're not going down. I can't tell if he's winning or not. Okay, he's winning. So bad. <laughs> I, okay, I cannot use this gun. There's the gore I was looking for. Now, careful, YouTube. It's not real. All of this is pretend. Where is this guy? Oh my god, come on now. 
figure it out. He jumped out of a hole and then jumped out of a second hole on top of the previous hole. Unlimited dirt hacks? Dude, every time I jump off the ledge, he jumps in the same hole. <laughs> he keeps doing it. Okay, I'm gonna jump back. Wait, wait, hold on, this is kind of wild. I jump back here, nothing. As soon as I leave, Oh my god, I, okay, I only got one hit on him. I will get this kill. Right here, Dogmeat, you ready? Stay right there. No, get out of the way. I'm about to put a 12 gauge in my dog's head. A lot of hole talk today. Well, I'm... Sorry, I've just been thinking about Stanley Yelnats. Nice try. Nah! A little safe room right... Ah! Run, 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 run. Dog, please defend me. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, all right, that was a good little scare. That was a good one. You got me. And almost killed me. Shit. I'm not ready to die, though. Okay, okay, I see you fall out. Dog me, turn around and fight the damn thing. Don't, don't, don't. Go. Why are you facing me? Kill. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. You better, you better just follow me through the, you know, portal. Thank God. You know, Dogmeat kind of reminds me of our family dog, um, Archie. Because he does a lot of that. <laughs> like when he runs around the house, he is always just. <laughs> Constantly. He's always panting. Wait, guys, why did we ban that bot? Hello, sorry for bothering you. I want to offer promotion of your channel. Viewers, followers, views, chatbots, etc. Uh, okay, I like what I'm hearing so far. The price is lower than any competitor. The quality is guaranteed to be the best. Flexible and convenient order management panel. Chat panel. Everything is in your hands. A huge number of custom settings. Go to stream and then ban. Why? Let them, yo. Hear them out at least. It's a good, <laughs> it's a good pitch. Be gone, synth. Are those chatbots, to any Helldivers fans out there, are those chatbots kind of like our version of the automatons? Are we facing imminent threat? Bots are bad. No, they are. They are, they're, they're quite annoying. Maybe Carla has one of these new guns? Huh? What are you doing? Oh, not you again. No, I'm... Why is this cow always so sassy? Carla's cow, it's always got some kind of attitude. Huh? Like, I'm trying to talk to Carla and then it... Yeah, he's always got something to say. Pipe down. Okay, let me talk to Carla. So what's your story? You're in a train? Oh, Robbie. oh, 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 run, Carla! <laughs> You're more powerful than I. Oh yeah, oh yeah, run away, run away. How the hell is my dog down? Is my dog weaker than the other dogs? Oh shit, Carla's gonna, oh, okay, Carla might die. We all good? This is getting intense. Oh, 
Oh, oh he's so excited. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Brahmin are relatively trade? charming. Rob me? Or just ask directions to Diamond City. I'm just looking for love, sweetheart. Just looking for love, sweetheart. <laughs> Girl, have you come to the wrong place? My loving days have long since passed. But I'll tell you what, beautiful. You made an old girl smile. Discount? Sure. Let's take a look. You break it, you buy it. All right, hopefully we can find one of these new guns in here. No. Psych. Oh, that's annoying. Because I know we have um, one of them that's really cool in here is the Fallout 3 slash New Vegas hunting rifle. That one's really fun. Get rid of some of these guns. Actually, pipe revolver pistol I'll keep. Pipe pistol you can go. Molotovs are just not good in survival mode. Immediate death. Because, like, they'll always hit something kind of close to you and then you die. It just never goes well. We had a deal, Trudy. Hand over this is your you first stream? Is Lab A cool? Is that how you would say that? Or is Lab E cool? He bought them fair and square, Trudy. Ain't our fault if it's strung out. Don't miss in there and Oh shit. <laughs> okay. Trudy, I'm a hero. Now to collect my second discount of the day. Okay, that was weirdly perfect. That was almost like a trick shot. Damn, my voice really is gone. <clears throat> I can't wait to see the crows feeding on that scumbag. Here, this is for you. Now, if you ever need to trade, my shop's open. Nice. I'll take a look. Sure. It's all worth it. Big time level up. Level five. There it is. Okay. Caravan shotgun. Nice. All right. That's the only one we got right now. Short caravan shotgun doesn't look very short. In fact, this one looks shorter. This one looks bigger. We'll go with the big one. Thank you. Kind 128. Sir. I can afford that. It uses 12 gauge. I don't have too many rounds, so let's buy some ammo. Nine caps per bullet is kind of ridiculous. We'll just do an even trade with the extra five millimeter. Take some money. Probably need water. She have any? How do you not have purified water? Excuse me. Ma'am. That's fine by me. All right, so first, first perk. Probably should take a combat perk. Cap collector is not too bad, though. Somebody asked earlier what perk I would take in real life. I said cap collector. I think fortune. Oh, I guess if, if cap collector, yeah, just gives you better prices on everything throughout life, that's a straight buff. I think I would still take cap collector. Fortune finder would be pretty nice, though. I will go medic. Not too exciting with the perk choices so far. All right, caravan shotgun. Let's see how this plays out. I hope it sounds good. I don't think I've ever used this one before. With vans. Tiantra, thank you very much for 12 months. No armor? Oh, true. Yeah, we got to get some armor. No, it has the same audio as the regular shotgun. I mean, custom reload. So it gets points for that. So overall, I'll say that's cool. That's pretty sweet. Oh, thank you, Biowolf. How's your week doing? Hopefully better than my gameplay. Actually, hopefully it's better than my voice. Uh, leather left, raider left, raider right. Oh, 
Holy shit, where did you come from? God, I love this dog. I was trying to like clear my throat again and then the action music played. Let's shoot a couple rounds. Oh yeah, that it's true. That test fire cost me like 18 caps. You know, I'm cool with it though. We have a new gun. That's what I came here for. I just want the new hardware. Starting keto this week? If you really like breakfast food, it's not too bad. I gotta get back on it though. I ate so much in Vegas, so much. It's kind of wild how many, <clears throat> there are so many celebrity sponsored restaurants in Vegas. Like I went to Bobby Flay has a burger joint. It's like a fast food burger joint. Probably the worst of the ones that I went to. I went to Guy Fieri's Flavor Town. Sick name. Really great appetizer we had there. We only had one small thing just to like not overfill. You know, kind of like a when in Rome thing. Yeah, we're at Guy Fieri's place. Let's get an appetizer. Start the day. Martha Stewart had a place. We stayed at Paris, by the way. If you know, like the hotels in Vegas, we stayed at Paris. Uh, Martha Stewart had a place. Didn't go there, unfortunately. I would have loved to. There was Vanderpump, if you're familiar with the Vanderpump uh, TV shows. I know my mom and sister are into all that. That is one I would have loved to have go to, gone to. Just to, like, say I did. Just to, like, tell my mom and sister, like, yeah, I went to the Vanderpump place. Uh, Gordon Ramsay, obviously, he has a couple. Where's my grenade? Oh, I used my grenades! I'm out. Uh, okay, we have explosive there. Gosh, I forgot that this isn't like Skyrim. I can't just pull up the quick menu and evaluate the situation. Holy shit, that's a lot of them. I can survive this. They're moving kind of slow. No, 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 no. You've got to be kidding me, dude. Come on. Come on. What kind of shotgun has that spread? All right, I didn't lose all my progress. I still have like quick checkpoints. Fine, I'll pay out the gamble. Why was this a 50-50 split? Who was believing? Why would you believe? I don't know why you would believe in that one. At least that was kind of a funny way to die. All right. Thank you, kind sir. Hey, you're always glad to catch you live. We're going to try this one again. And it's starting now. Hey. I don't understand why they're pat why is their pathing so slow like that? Thank you, kind sir. Before finding your YouTube channel, I had never played Fallout 4 and never planned to, but now I am overdosing on the greater, <laughs> post-apocalyptic, Boston area. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Good time, great sandbox. Lots of different ways to play it and fuck around. Come on, Nora, cook, cook, Nora! POV, you are <laughs> Nora listening to Nate, but it's a abusive relationship. We're good. Ah! This game needs to chill out with the jump scares. That's like three now. Thank you, kind sir. 
I got a little too confident in my lock picking skills. I forget that it's not a direct carryover from Skyrim. You know, it's a slightly different game. Ultra Jet Mentat Psycho. We love finding drugs. Honest question. I wonder if it's easier to find drugs in Fallout 4 or real life in Vegas. Are you playing without music? I do have the uh, Yay, tunes on. I can turn them up. I usually do when we're recording, though. The end game music typically has to be off if we were Thank recording you, a, uh, like a specific challenge. You've I missed you. How are you all so happy 16 months? Liam, thank you very much for 16 months. Where is Dalton? Thank you for two months. Good to see you. Uh, we need to find a bed. I have like a typical bed we always take. You can't hear it? You're talking about like the in-game background tunes, right? Worth every septum. Honest prediction on how good you think the show will be? Um... I mean, based on pretty much everything I've heard today and over the last couple of days, I think it's actually going to be pretty fucking awesome. I'm not going to lie. I, th I think I think at worst, it'll be a really fun romp in the uh, Fallout universe. Thank you, Conser. Nah, nah, nah. Break. Nah, 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 nah. Hey, Juve. Are you singing the Hey Jude chorus? Is that what that was? Good to see you, stick man. Why do I have bricks? I didn't even know there were bricks in the game. Thank you, kind sir. Man, I don't use vats enough. I forgot how cool it is. There's more in here, though. I'm definitely going to pro I'm probably going to watch the first three episodes tonight. I think that's my plan is to get through three. But I have pretty much for the most part heard, you know, pretty good things. only had a bobby pin thank you kind sir and a couple of i have heard a couple of things uh that i almost wish i didn't hear very light spoilery about walton goggins character the ghoul that made me go oh this sounds like he would be a fucking awesome like companion type character in a fallout game like there are like tiny, tiny little details of his character that I heard make me go, this is like a 10 out of 10 pitch for, what if this guy was one of like your main companions in a Fallout game? But I haven't really heard a ton else. Worth every septum. Can we get your opinions and thoughts on the show once you've finished it? Like a review? I, I, maybe not like a review review, um, but I mean, I'm sure, yeah, we'll be able to ch uh, chat about it. You know, with TV, what, what's going on, dog? I've watched so much TV, or just like, what the, where do they keep coming from? Away with you, demon spawn. 
This shotgun's fun. I like it. Thank you, kind sir. What party? I like this shotgun. I just think the reload is very satisfying. Although, wait a minute. Oh, God. I'm now realizing, though, that the reload, other than the very brief animation change, is about the same as the double barrel shotgun. This is what recency bias looks like, people. Damn, locked. There's gotta be an end of dungeon chest in here somewhere. Whoever did this dungeon crushed it. Kind of weird, too, because it's such a completely optional dungeon. But it's very good. Imagine how scary this dungeon is for somebody who's like never played Fallout. Maybe like they really don't like horror games at all. My YouTube videos really make you want to play Skyrim again. That's good. If they do make you play it again, I hope you have a good time. Experiment with a couple of fun tweaks. Maybe do a challenge run. The one with the death claw inside is the worst. That one is, I, I swear that's like a one-to-one -one recreation or inspiration. If anybody ever played the game, oh, what's it called? Condemned. Condemned two. Ooh, hold on, lower. What the hell is Josh doing? He's been gone for over an hour. We need to get out of here. The guys are thinking we're already at Concord. If Josh would hurry his ass up, maybe we can get there in time. Shit, gunfire! Not good. Josh! Maybe we can find Josh. No end of dungeon chest. I'm a little disappointed. We're going to hit this bed over here, Mystic Pines. I feel like I come to Mystic Pines every single survival playthrough. to Corvega. We'll do this in one shot, one try. I don't envision any problems. I'm gonna take gun nut. We're pretty heavy in the intelligence tree. All right, so there's a turret. Oh, sorry. Oh. 
Uh oh. We... Okay. Rainer Scum, it's tier two. They might do some decent damage. Oh, 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 God, that's my dog. Okay. Where the, where, where? No, no. Fall back. Oh my God. God damn it, dog me. Grab his leg or something. Help me out. So bad. Are you serious, dog? Me, kill the guy. Oh, whoa, what's this? We're all good. Everybody relax. All right, calm down. All is well. Now, there's a turret on the other side of that little staircase there. Quit your yapping and whining. Okay, that went over. We need more arc. Can that hit the turret? Oh god, not even close. Okay, never mind. I'm never gonna try that again. No more trick shots. When you turn up, you're dead. Raider scum again. And the turret. I, I have died in this house so many times, I should not be doing this. Turret down. I think he's in this little room. Only a fucking coward. I forgot the turret was down there. Stuff like that, like little details like that, make Vrexia's no hit runs wildly impressive. Just like the depth of game knowledge you have to have is insane. I'm already almost dead. <laughs> like, I just took a huge hit there. The run would be over. Like, that quickly. We've already got to go back and burn stim packs. Blood pack. And we're going to need water soon. Okay, if he's first floor of this building, perhaps we can bounce a grenade. What in the hell? God, I hate this game. Well, I know you're here. I'll find you. It's called shooting. I think that explosion might kill me. I think if I stand right on top of the turret and blow it up, it kills me. Where's my 10 millimeter? There he is. Okay, believers, you're alive. Now we'll fill out our armor. I think we need a chest piece. I think we have all of our limbs. Maybe right arm, I don't think we have. No, we do have right arm. Well, we'll go leather. I think leather looks cool anyway. Are you guys hating on my aim? How? I don't I don't know what you want me to what, uh, like. I mean, I could you want me to hop into aim labs? Maybe start training for CSGO like league play. I think I do all right. Opinion on cornfields. I mean, they've, they're pretty awesome. Like zero complaints about cornfields. They are obviously great for corn, which is awesome. Corn is sick. Um, also aesthetically, they're great for when the aliens eventually show up and start doing crop circles. 
Like, have you ever seen signs? How in the f Nice one. Bite his dick. Close enough. Good work, dog mate. We're getting low on money or ammo. Basically the same thing. Lightweight boil leather left arm. We'll take that. It's slightly upgraded. Oh, this gun's going to suck. But like cornfields, if you think about it, signs would not be a good movie without cornfields. It's not like a pretty huge part of the movie. So by extension, cornfields kind of get half credit for that movie. Lightweight tempered raider left arm, we'll take that. Oh, they're both left arm? Get out of here. Which one looks cooler? Mm, I don't hate this look. I'm not a big fan of the Raider chest piece when it gets real big and bulky. You know, when it starts to do like that caged look in the front. Ah, but I'm digging this look. It's my favorite look. It's just the armored vault suit. Signs wasn't a good movie regardless. See? See, this feels like I'm on film Twitter. We're like, we're like in five years, we're going to start seeing tweets go viral that are like, um, okay, so can we talk about Dune 2 and how overrated it was? And it's like, all right, you know what, just back away. Like, um, are we going to start a discussion on how underrated the Halo TV show was? I have seen every episode of the Halo TV show AMA. I'm all caught up on John Halo, the show. Nice throw, idiot. Anybody all caught up on uh, John Halo? Oh, yes, we got our 12 cage. They're starting to throw caravan shotguns onto the enemies. That's pretty cool. Uh, I mean, season two is okay. But it's still like, you know, they could have done so much. Oh, nice. Okay, here's a new gun. A varmint revolver. I only get one bullet for it, though. It's like a shotgun pistol. I think. No sign of them now. Animation looks pretty good while holding it. For some reason, it feels like my aim sensitivity increased with this thing on. Okay, that's a vanilla but altered or like slightly altered sound effect. So, looks cool. Are you a fan of the tactical weapon mods in Fallout 4? I'm actually not really. Do you mean the mods that add stuff like a modern M4 rifle? A very Tarkov-esque weaponry. I feel like that fits a bit better in a game like Stalker. That is a bit more milsim. Because, like, even the closest weapon we have in any of, like, the 3D Fallout games is probably... 
the is it the marksman rifle in new vegas like the all-american but that one still kind of works just because it feels like the other guns if that makes any sense at all like i, I do like the guns to be a little scuffed oh my god stop insulting me please I forgot how hard this dungeon is. I need water now. Pork and beans ain't gonna cut it. Okay, yeah, dog meat's going down for sure. This doesn't have the range that I need. They're throwing Molotovs. Let's see if we can go. We have three Molotovs. Why am I on fire? What? I'm dying. Let's take out that turret. 12 shots should be able to do it. Whoa. Shit, that was close. I got greedy. Well, we got the turret down. It looks like they're about to push. Caravan shotgun might be back in play. God, why do you have to go out on your own? All right, all right. We'll let, we'll let dog meat cook for a little bit. I'm back to dying. Mildly dehydrated. You all got any of them purified waters? Weezer reference. I don't remember mentioning Buddy Holly or my hash pipe. We you, I look just like Buddy Holly. That was kind of scary. No, no, I'm stuck. Damn dog. That was bogus though. I shot those little red canisters. Right there. That should have exploded. Fully auto, one on the right. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ah, they're on both sides. Ah, damn it, they both have shotguns. Come on. No, I got stuck between them. I, all right, I'm not gonna lie. Okay. I'll give them some credit. I'll give them some credit there. That was a good little play by them. I know we're not playing Skyrim, but still, fuck this game. Come on. I tried my best. I actually tried really hard there, and I thought we played pretty well. Like, it's hard when I'm stuck with a BB gun. Should have quick saved. All right, this is gonna be a really risky throw, but let's try it. Crouch so we can get. Is there one more? That might be all of them. Oh no, we're good. Okay, sweet. 10 millimeter, we got plenty of ammo. No, no, no. Oh, he didn't get the Molotov off, he tried. He had me killed there if he got the Molotov away. Give me that pipe rifle. 
Yeah, I think this will hit a little bit harder for us. Need you out of the way, dog meat. You know what? Just go out there. Go. Ow. Where? Where? Underneath? Yeah, it's right there on the little... have the advantage of the turret not seeing us like last time because we were able to sneak attack the turret like six times before did you win enough in vegas to buy a dug dug mug mug i did see those are out i'm not sure how long they're available but i should probably get one pushing this way yeah, he's right there. Okay, if they're gonna push close. Such a dumb idea. I can't take them on. They're gonna... Alright, dog meat's going out. I'm on fire. I don't understand how the fire keeps getting me. I'm bleeding out. Oh my lord. Okay, that was close. Oh, I'm dead. I don't understand what got me. This is good training, though. Uh, fuck. Did the Molotov really get me? He had the wherewithal and the distance to push right up. I don't even know if that's the right way to use wherewithal. But I'm going with it, it feels good. this game how the hell does that hurt me ridiculous Ooh. friendly fire for thee but not for me Okay, we're gonna bail out of here. I can't hang yet. I'm not in good form. We haven't played a lot. You know, we haven't played a lot of uh, Fallout lately. Let's reevaluate. Let's find some water. You know what? That's right. I have fast travel. Why? Because I'm a coward. Is Jabo still on that billboard? I think so. I don't think I've updated that texture in my game. Yes. So he's just permanently on the billboards. Hi. Need to pick something up? Road's pretty long from here. Let's see what you've got. You break it, you buy it. Are you got anything in there? Not the hunting rifle we want. Ah, it hasn't been long enough anyway for her stuff to refresh. There we go. We need some water. Let's get rid of that. Do I really need that? Not really. I want to find some ammo, though. 
which she doesn't have right now for the varmint revolver i want to try that gun out a little bit more although i'm just gonna be a little bit cheeky here how do i not have concrete Which one's concrete? Oh, I had those bricks from before and I got rid of them. Go figure. That's not concrete. Concrete? Ceramic? I'll find it. There's a concrete wall. Oh, isn't it by the crafting stuff? I think it's this one right here. Yeah, beautiful. You've been playing Thank Elex you, lately, and you think that I would hate this. So I have played Elex. I wasn't really a fan of it, though. Thank you, kind sir. Yellow Team Ethan Max Keeble Turkey Stick Rufus Billy Stinky Balls Fortnite Gary Charlie La 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 Mephodius, I think you just did. Is that like our chat's version of Riz Skibbity Toilet in Ohio? Phantom Tax? Any other miscellaneous internet lingo I'm missing? Like, it pretty much is. Also, Silent Archer, thank you for 13 months. How are you? That's my best Oblivion Imperial impression. We're still working on it. Okay, I do want to try. I just want to remember what this gun shoots like if I can find it no that's not what it is okay I was searching for just one of the guns that I added to the game there's a handgun that's really cool Are you going to do the Fall Guys 2024 review? Fall Guys, four years later. Does anyone have the Thank copy pasta thanks, for the Fall Guys video? I give you permission to throw the Fall Guys copy pasta in chat. If you are not playing Fall Guys, you are missing out on one of the most cinematic thrilling masterpieces in all of gaming history it's something like that it's something along those lines i've read it enough from you jackasses in chat i've had to relive it enough you know what fuck the haters that video was fire okay all right bunch of talentless hacks hating on my sick video if you're not playing Fall Guys right now, you are missing out on quite possibly the most engaging, cinematic, survival horror masterpiece in gaming history. If you play Fall Guys and have a bad time, I, uh, I don't know, man. Maybe, okay, all right, all right, I get it. That's enough Fall Guys copy pasta. You guys have, you guys have destroyed the entire chat. That's the Halloween version? The fuck is it? Oh, oh god, there's more! Help me farm people! If this isn't what the Fallout show is, I don't want it. <laughs> I want the main character running away from a dog. Help! Strangers, defend me! If you're not playing Fall Guys right now, you are missing out on quite possibly the most engaging cinematic survival horror masterpiece in gaming history. 
If you play Fall Guys and you have a bad time, I are. Oh, you guys I are don't still know. doing it? Man. Maybe video games aren't just your thing. All that being said, I'm gonna give Fall Guys a console pleb score of 5 out of 5. Oh man, it's so painful. This is a perfect game for any console casual it's so painful. gamer to pick up and play in this holiday. I don't think you all understand. Alright. Okay, that was just fucked up. I <laughs> it's taking out my anger. <laughs> okay. Um, hey, you know what? At least take it as a lesson that if you want to make some videos on YouTube, your first quite a few are probably going to suck. But that's okay. You know what? There is a special endearing aspect of YouTube in that sense. The whole gimmick was that I was going to review it from the perspective of, like, a console basic... Uh, it sucked. It sucked, okay? No, actually, it didn't. I'm tired of all the hate. That shit went hard. That video was crazy. All right, let's see how powerful this thing is. Okay, I swear, when I equip it, the sensitivity of my game... I swear I'm moving faster. Alright, quick save real quick. Ooh, 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 that's kinda cool! I dig that. That animation's nice. Looks a little bit awkward as the hand just kinda floats back into position, but... It's kinda cool. It makes me feel like I'm undercover. I'm not a big fan of that glow sight, though. I want to get rid of that. I don't want to do their quest. I always start every survival run by doing the Abernathy quest. No, she doesn't sell stuff. Connie does. I doubt Connie has this ammo. Whoa, whoa, what is that? Whoa, I got a whole new running animation with this thing. Little janky. But it does remind me of the Skyrim animation I use. Ah, perfect. Okay, we can test it out on one of these deer. Not very good. Unless I missed. Oh, the range on this one is brutal. Okay, what is this random event? Hey, you, no, come here. I'm dead. No, no, there's no way. How are you so powerful? Why did it explode? What happened? Okay, hold on. I need to quick tab this. That on one, but that at two. Now my movement speed doesn't change. This does feel so weird though. All right, tell me that event is still there. I want to investigate. He put a bomb on it? Bro! 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 Damn it, I'm gonna have to start a death count, aren't I? Okay, fine, fine, we'll start a death count, because this is not going that well. Um, where is it over here? Is that big enough? Is that big enough or do y'all want it bigger? I don't really want to mess. Well, okay, what are we at? How many times have we died? Five times? We just died two times. We died once in Corvega. Twice in Corvega. So that's at least four. Um, 
I don't remember when we died. Okay, y'all can't see it? Okay. You're so needy. I can't see it. You can see it, you can see it perfectly fine. But how about this? Is this big enough? I'll make it annoyingly large. Oh no, 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 I lost track of the number! I mean, it's so big it like went off the screen. All right, how about this? This work for you? Now we'll, you'll, nobody will ever be able to lose track of how many times we've died in game. I want to say we've died five times though. <laughs> you guys get your death counter now. All right, I want to I want to figure out what the hell happens with this event. Okay, but I can't I can't let that stay that long. All right, the bit's over. You had your fun. Should it be deaths or should it be death count? De deaths is a uh, kind of a weird one. It rolls off the tongue awkwardly. How's that look? That look okay? You know, good with the uh uh no, hold on, it's off. It's gonna drive me crazy. Me battling the elements on OBS. It's still slightly off. We will open up the edit transform. I will lower its pixel position. One at a time. That looks okay. Yeah. All right, that looks fine. If it doesn't look fine, please leave your complaints with management on your way out. Also, uh, you and Jones, thank you for the 100 bits. Dervish Manser, thank you for the prime. Mephodius, good to see you again. Thank you for nine months. Silent Archer, thank you for 13 months. And Ink Demon, thank you for posting the copy pasta again. <laughs> thank you. It's a little off. Oh, you guys are just. You can use the arrow keys. Um, not that I see. All right, fine. We'll center it. Center it more. We'll go like right here. It's the last change. This is it. I'm taking. I'm taking back my stream. Oh, that just looks bad. All right, that looks fine. That's it, last rendition. I'm done. Don't let it cover the beautiful mane? It's not, I mean like, maybe every now and then. So glad I made it to the adjusting death counter stream. Well, wait until next time where we uh, adjust the camera size. Sealed up since the Great War. I missed. There's no shot I miss. Okay, now why did this explode last time? Oh, detonate. Why does it? There's no timer? I like how it's a little off. <laughs> yeah, how about now? <laughs> That's right, all of the alignment Andes in chat are in shambles. Go ahead, go ahead. Zoom in right now, and I guarantee I am pixel perfect in the middle. 
frame perfect. Yeah, that, that should do it. Yep. Yeah. Sealed up since the Great War. What do you mean? I, oh, I ran out of sprint. Okay, that works. We're good. We're in the clear. Now I am going to cheat, toggle God mode. It actually. It actually goes into a thing. I didn't know that. And this guy has bricks too. What's with everybody carrying bricks? I swear, I've done this event before, and the door doesn't actually teleport you to a cell, it just like cracks open. I thought it was like a troll Easter egg. Yeah, I wonder if it's a mod. Am I at six? Oh. All right. There you go. There you go. You're up to date. Stars and Thank Stripes bandana. Kind, Thank you very much. This is going to look hot. Ooh, 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 yeah, I like it. Oni main, thank you for the prime. I present to you good gameplay as a reward for your prime subscription. I think we're clear. We good, dog mate? Is this where you find that one guy? He's a he's a glowing one, right? 99% sure there's a glowing one in here. Let's throw on some rad X. really not much in here. Oh, there is one of those. Oh, and that's right. That's right. This one has the worst landmine or uh, wasteland survival guide. <laughs> it's so bad. I missed that playthrough so much. I'm thinking landmine survival guide. Uh, it just marks. It just marks Diamond City. It doesn't even let you fast travel there. It just puts it on the map. <laughs> it's so silly. I definitely kind of just ran out of ideas. They were like, oh, well, let's put a little collectible in there. How do we ensure that the player's experience in this dungeon is rewarding? Couple bandits up here. Or not. What gun is that? He's got a full auto submachine gun right now, this early in the game? No. Sorry, but no, that's just not how it works. All right, I love the caravan shotgun, but I'm ready to try out something new. Can you craft any of the weapons in here? Ah, you can. You can craft an AK-74. 
That might be the only one, though. Sorry about your Hawkeyes, but what a season once again. Oh, it was a great game. They had a great run. I'm just watching uh, that team, though. You feel ill. I hate illnesses. Antibiotics. Boom. Purified water. There we go. I'm feeling good. All right. I know people are haters on toughness, but I'm going to take it. I feel like I like toughness. Maybe I've convinced myself into liking it. Oh, it's nighttime. I think I got to get to Diamond City. I should be powerful enough at this point to do so. It's not a very far run. Now, Nora doesn't casually know how to yet. I don't have rank four gun nut. Ooh, I bet the gunners have some decent gear. This won't exactly be an easy fight, and I'm out of shotgun ammo. Oh, they already see me. What is that gun? What gun is that? It looks new. I want it. I did hear on a couple of the mods that the gunners carry some of them. I can hit this throw. There's two of them at the front door. Oh, what a toss. We got two of them. That was a good try. Run, dog. Hey, over here. Head over there. Go there. There. Move here. Oh, I think they somehow missed it. All right, dog went down. If they push that corner, they should still hit the landmine. There we go. 64 XP. That had to kill a couple. I'm guessing I got two of them. Yeah, we got two. Third one's still out and about. Only problem is I have almost no medium range weapons. 10 millimeter pistol is my best bet. And that turret's still... One shot? Just because he got a little bit in range, he gets a one tap there. Now I gotta take the perk again. That stupid toughness perk didn't even help me not die. He got me killed immediately. Uh, okay, new plan. I think we can take these guys out, though. We gotta start with the bottle cap mine getting set up in a good location. That turret is a problem. However... We take out the turret. We need to hit this check po choke point here. Hit the choke point. Turret hasn't noticed us. Molotov goes out. Hit the turret. Fuck, I missed. I'm stuck. That's bad. That's pretty bad. We only took out one. We took out the higher level of the remaining guys. I guess medics. I've got some jet. Close the gap, light up the turret with the 10 millimeter. Use jet. Two of them right here. Yeah, hunting rifle. Melee. We can avoid him pretty easily. Yeah. 
I'm gonna have to take my third jet. Can I get the jump? Get the jump! Oh, no, 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 no. Nice try, Mr. Turret. You do not stand a chance. I have circled around you. Fuck out of here. Ah, he's picking up the sniper. Damn. Okay, so he's still going to be able to hit pretty hard. Any landmines in here? Ah, just red X. Where's my dog? You are really pissing me off. They're back at you. What was that with the black squares? What happened? Did something happen on the screen? Did I miss something? Screw it. Let's go, Ultra Jet. I don't think I got addicted either. Yeah, it's just the vanilla one. I want to get the classic one. So they had nothing good. Damn, they didn't have any of the new weapons. Turret's not gonna have any, of course. What's your FOV setting? I think I'm on 90. 90 is what I typically go with in these games. It feels pretty good. Well, finding a sniper rifle is pretty solid. You can get a lot of long distance kills on survival mode with it. Wait, why does it sound different? What's happening? I think my game is still playing the slow motion sounds like when I have jet. Like, why, why is Nora's breathing so deep? Yeah, wait. Oh, oh God. I hate this game. <laughs> this game sucks, dude. <laughs> I, I have fallen through that hole and died multiple times before. Yeah, that's why I let myself quick save on survival mode. Can you mimic the jet sounds for us? Thank you, Ooh, yeah. Jump. Yo, really high edge. Onboy, good to see you. Thank you very much. I'm high. I, oh, wait, in game. I thought you meant right now. I've told you all I'm not comfortable doing a high stream. What a shot. God, I'm so cracked. Where are you at? Where are you at? Come on, please die. It actually gave me a sneak attack? Okay, all right, sweet, let's move. All right, Thank cool, cool, cool. We actually got a couple shots for that little- So, what are we doing today? I'm late. Uh, we're playing Fallout 4 Survival. Why is my dog blitzing around at full speed? Nothing too crazy. I've added these mods to my game that add like some cool new guns. I wanna try those out, but nothing crazy. Fallout show's coming out. I figured it was fitting. You know, to play some Fallout. Sounded fun. And we just haven't played Fallout 4 in a really long time. The last time we played it was when we did Iron Man. But since then, we've been like Skyrim exclusive. Not that I haven't enjoyed it, but you know, we've played it a lot.
Don't forget to up. Did I not update? I thought I did update it. Are you tricking me? Are you, are you like? Is that a child? We'll find out when we go over there. Fallout and its goddamn hitboxes. Oh, that's a laser pistol. It's going to do good damage. Where's my dog? There he is. Look at that. Almost a one shot. That's got to drive some people nuts that I always drink way too much water. Attack that military hardware. Thank you. Get the turret to turn around. Oh. <laughs> I hate this damn thing. There we go. We're good. Well, the body's gone. Well, we'll never know if we just shot a child or not. I'm going to assume no. I am a good person. Oh, there they are. Yes, we got the classic hunting rifle. Let's go. All right. Get rid of that. Pull out this bad boy. Ah, oh, I need to get rid of that scope, though. Love it. I feel like this model of hunting rifle lasted every Fallout 3 player in 2008 half of their playthrough. At least. Do you have a killable children mod? I do not. Like, I, it, that just feels, I, I don't know, I mean, like, I know it's a part of Frost because Frost is, like, such a harsh experience, and it kind of makes sense for the design of Frost, but does it not sound a little, you know, to be like, oh, you gotta install the killable children mod? Hmm? Do you really have to? <laughs> Is that an essential one? Easy. Calm down. I thought they were about to attack. It really do sound a little, you know, it, it does sound a little, you know, what, what does it? really add to the experience like with GTA someone out there has definitely been like oh, I wish this game had children uh, you're currently running over on the, you're driving over people on the sidewalk I wish this game had kids It'd be so much better but whoa hey whoa all right we'll slow down a little bit all right we can be Perfectly preserved pie. All right, we'll give it. A, we'll give it a few tries. We'll give it a few tries. Cyberpunk, the kids disappear when you get into a car. It's actually kind of funny. They just like phase them out of existence from the player. Don't even think about it.
Children bringing immortal is unimmersive. Plus, you could do it in Fallout. Okay, okay. People only ever want to add killable children to these games because they want to kill killable children. Not because they want to feel more immersed. Not <laughs> because, like... And, and it was in Fallout 2 because, like, they had the perk assigned to it. And if you did it, the game was like, hey, you're a... You're a piece of shit for doing that. It's a little... Like, you don't need it. Come on now. Hey, like, it's not an essential part of the experience. You'll be alright. Do we do this? It's pretty solid XP. If I actually get tags in on the kills. If I don't let Dance take them all. Yikes. Uh, let's try our new little pistol. I'm going to see how this thing goes. Also, why would I get rid of... I was just using the cool hunting rifle. Let's try this varmint revolver. Alright, kind of cool. Reload animation, solid. Ooh, okay, I like that. Stalker? Don't die. No, I'm dead. I like this thing. I think it does jank up the frame rate a little bit. That gun does, but it is pretty cool. A big hi from Portugal, Peter Frafov. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Do we get XP for just hey, talking to we dance? Appreciate the assistance, civilian. What's your business? I think this is just the start of the quest. I'm just trying to survive out here, like everyone else. The way you charged in and engaged those ferals, I find that a bit... Just one. <laughs> Fuck that fridge kid. Settled? Why does everyone hate Billy the I Kid mean, so much? You're a vault dweller? Most people wouldn't admit to such a thing. If I appear suspicious, since the moment we arrived in the... If you want to continue pitching in... Right. I'll continue to help, but you owe me enough... Very well. I'm Paladin Dance, Brotherhood of Steel. Over there is Scribe. We're on recon duty. I've been trying to send. Sir. Proceed, Halen. I've modified. Mm -hmm. All right, all right, all right. Let's get moving here. Infiltrate the facility. Mm -hmm. So what do you say? No time to waste. Let's get moving. Outstanding. Yeah, I'm definitely not going to do this quest with Dance. It's going to be way too hard. Much more interested in just getting to Diamond City. Halen, take Reese inside and find his wound. Yes, sir. That's your waifu? I have seen a lot of people uh, show some love for dance. I have not adventured with Paladin Dance all that much. Maybe after Diamond City, we'll go back, grab him, add the uh, Buzz Lightyear skin onto him. Peter Jessup is very aware of the amount of Tumblr fan art of dance. Okay, so there's there's a lot of love for dance. I have I just haven't yeah done too much. I mean I've done his quest obviously a couple of times. I know he's got his. Who are you? What are you doing on my bridge? Okay, you have a thirty percent chance of survival. I don't know who this character is. All right, they live. Let's go see if they're friendly. Don't much care for good neighbor. That place is not. I like good neighbor. 
And he had a melon. That's contraband. No carrying that on my highways. I'll be real with you all. I just wanted the XP. Okay, see, this is annoying because I can't shoot through the fence. Jumping apparently makes me loud and very visible. Nice. All right, time to go. I just wanted to steal one kill. What kingdom come deliverance mod is this? It's a Henry goes to war mod. Henry enters into a time machine, gets transported into an alternate reality, a lot of dimension hopping. Legendary? What the hell is a legendary doing on the field this early? We gotta go for this kill. There's no way these guards live. If we just clear out the others first. Oof, okay, 47 XP. I'm loving that. Is that two legendaries? Oh my god. Okay, this is huge. Yeah, here's some Diamond City firepower. Yeah, get your hot dog here. Is it weird that I zoom out of every scope? It's a habit from Battlefield. Welcome to Diamond City. Oh, I like this guy. Welcome to Diamond City, motherfucker. We're definitely not in the clear. No, the other legendary is up there. Oh. Legendary variant of one of the new guns. Not a very good legendary, though. Does increasing amounts of damage as the night grows longer and less damage during the day. <laughs> no. Come on, give me the two-shot explosive fully automatic handgun revolver. Oh my god, they did kill him. Also, eh, assassin's right arm. It's decent, though. Because if it limits you, if it limits damage against human human enemies, that's like raiders and whatnot. Have I still not paid out the gamba? What is the gamba? I don't know what it is right now. If there's a mod in chat that is running it, I'll leave them in charge. They started this battle, not me. Does that thing fire shotgun shells? Yes, the handgun does. The varmint revolver. A lot of these were made by, I think, Degenerate DAC is the name of the creator. They did a pretty good job with a lot of the models, the animations. Can't open the gate. Stop playing around, Danny. I'm right. standing out in the open here for crying out loud. I'm gonna run to the bathroom real quick. I'll let this play out. You guys can hang out with Piper and Chair. Ooh, just doing your job. Protecting Diamond City means keeping me out. Is that it? Oh, look, it's the scary reporter. I'm sorry, but Mayor McDonough's really steamed, Piper. Saying that article you wrote was all lies. The whole city's in a tizzy. You open this gate right now, Danny Sullivan. I live here. You can't just lock me out. You. 
You want into Diamond City, right? Mine's big enough. Speak up, I couldn't hear you. Hello, anyone home? <laughs> what, no comment? You're standing there with your jaw hanging out. Say something. Oh, yo. You guys want to see something cool? So, like last week, at some point last week, um, my, uh, what was it? Uh, at some point, like a week, maybe a week and a half ago, my, um, uh, sorry, one sec, one sec. All right, ignore that. <laughs> See ya. So, about a, a little over a week ago, my manager reached out, and they were like, hey, um, Speak up, I couldn't hear Elgato, who has, like, this mic, uh, my old green screen that I used to use, Elgato wanted to send me, like, uh, they wanted to send me something because they have this like fallout themed stuff and I was like shit. Yeah, go ahead I think that'd be dope. I thought they were just sending me like this mic, but with a fallout skin oh, But know? really what they sent me was like an entire XLR microphone that's fallout themed Looks pretty sick looks like pit boy themed which is pretty cool or like vault tech themed um, and it's like, like, okay, so the mic yeah. I use right now is like, uh, it's a USB mic, but they even sent like the full, like, microphone arm as well. Which I was pretty much, I was kind of in shock. I was like, holy shit, that is, uh, badass yeah. and cool, <laughs> and I appreciate it. And cool stuff like that would not happen if it weren't for all of you supporting the channel. So thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you very much, guys. Thanks. I have to get it set up. It's probably going to take a little bit. Now, next year, let's focus on going to uh, getting an invite to the season two premiere of the Fallout show. Because uh, we didn't get to go this time. Speak up. I couldn't hear you. Shut up, Piper. Okay. I'm, got here, I'm in my feels. Yeah. My what, company name that? again? Elgato. You said you're a trader up from Quincy. You have enough supplies to keep the general store stocked for a whole month? <laughs> Are you hyped for tomorrow? It's tonight. Yeah, okay. At least for the, my time zone. UK, it might be tomorrow morning. Out on all the supply. Jeez, all right. I need to make it personal, Piper. Give me a minute. Better head inside quick before old Danny catches on to the bluff.
Sounds good. Let's go. Another great day in Diamond City. Yeah, I think it's 8 p.m. my time. Piper, who let you back inside? I told Sullivan to keep that gate shut. You devious rabble. I can't believe he uses that kind of language. Is the whole show coming out at once? It is. I do wish uh, they were doing weekly. I, I wonder what goes into that kind of choice. Maybe they're just like, drop the whole thing at once. You know, Anyone see what the reaction is and next season do weekly. Because didn't, um, was it the boys? Did the boys do a full binge drop and then do weekly the following seasons? Or was that Invincible? Or did neither of them do that? Ooh, I like that little animation. What's that? I mean, it says missing required ammo, but there's clearly ammo in here. No, there, there's bullets in there. Or maybe Invincible did all like three episodes. I think the boys has done three episodes at first. I like the initial drop with a couple of episodes. I think ideally I would do two episodes a week. That would be cool. All right, I'm not really sure what I was looking for in here. We'll pay rent, get some sleep. Hit the shop in the morning. <clears throat> Happy Eid, y'all. Is uh, Eid Mubarak? Is that the holiday? I'm not. Is that the end of... Um, is Eid Mubarak the last day of Ramadan? If so. Hold on, hold on. Actually, like, I, I, I would like to not be... A mother lurk. Come on. That's like two out of ten points of danger tops. Now, if you want to talk something really deadly. Scruffers, they totally fucked with the momentum of momentum of Invincible. I still really enjoyed all of it, and I'm looking forward to more. But that was strange how they did all that. I killed a man for Eid ul No, no. Well, happy Eid. He is dead, though. No. Not today. That's too bad. I'm kind of digging this look for Nora, though. If I think the Stars and Stripes face mask is cool. Need a room? It's pronounced Eid. Happy Eid. Here's your money. You're in room two. Just. Can you mimic Vadim's Mayor Lurk? That's tough. Mayor Lurk. Just found you on YouTube and finally made a stream. So glad I did and love your content. Hope you're well. Gravy, thank you very much. I hope you nice are having a wonderful week. Perfectly preserved pie. Come on, let's hit it. Ah, come on. Mayor and his damn speeches. We give thanks to the wall. <laughs> what a joke. Hey, I'd rather be on this side of the wall than on the other side, you know? God, they had to make this animation so slow too. Well, I married my dream girl, I married my dream girl, but she didn't tell me her credit was bad. So now instead of living in a pleasant suburb, we're living in the basement at her mom and dad. So we can't get a loan for a respectable home just because my girl defaulted on some old credit card. If we'd gone to freecreditreport.com, where does it go? I'd be a happy bachelor with a dog and a yard. Well, I thought it was going to like exit out of the tray. I wanted the cinematic shot. How is that stealing? No, that's ridiculous. I'm... God, am I really gonna catch a charge for taking my perfectly preserved, perfectly earned piece of pie? Okay, I need a stealth boy. What do they do with them? Where do they take them? Hey, hey, keep your voice down. Take a look. No, no, he's just activating it. Don't do that. Don't do that.
I'm taking it. Did I get it? Hell yeah. Look at that beauty. Oh, now it's not stealing. Now it's legal. What's with you vault dwellers in those jumpsuits, huh? What's with oh, you Bostonians hiding? Oh, hey, look. Real, Hold on, can I block his shot I with the perfectly preserved pie? Don't shoot, for God's sakes, we're family! Put the gun down now. He's a Sith. He'll kill us all. Oh, I wrong guy. Know. Wrong guy. <laughs> wrong guy. My bad. Shows <laughs> oh, shit. There are no sins in Diamond City. Hear me? Just you folks in your damn paranoia. That is kind of wild, though, because isn't Riley a synth? I'm almost positive he's a synth. Oh. Get, can you get off my pie, please? Thank you. Ninety-nine percent sure he's a synth. Let's open up that skull of yours and find out. I need you to step away, Scabber. Okay. Well, let's just do this in a way where we don't get in trouble. Oh, he's not a synth either. Neither of them are synths. Yikes. I need you to step away, Scabber. Take the bobby pin. Okay, fine. All right, we'll take the bobby pin. Make it out of there like a bandit. All right, Nami Shamiska, huh? Nani Shamaska, huh? Is that what he says? Let's get everyone at there. Oh, come on, why is everyone standing around? Go back to your own damn business. I thought he was a synth. Who needs a haircut? Everyone needs a haircut. Step up. Hey, told you to move. He knows a guy that works for me. Hey, it's hey, the new girl. Am I right? The freedom tree. Yeah, I'm the new girl. Well, it's good to have you here. Name's Arturo Rodriguez. If you need protection, let's talk. Sure. Let's take a look. Something for everyone. Here we go. Okay. Okay, there we go. We got a grease gun. I've used that one before. Pretty good. I do have one issue with like how it actually shoots and feels to shoot. Old faithful, nothing new there. The OT33 auto pistol. Except it costs a thousand. It's probably extremely overpowered. YCS 186. That's from Fallout 3 or is that New Vegas? Either way, it's like the classic. Uh, I think it's a part of the Capital Wasteland stuff. It's like the classic uh, Goss rifle. I only have 500. I do want one of these. Let's see how much money we can make. Solo landmines or explosives, pipe auto pistol. Don't really need it. Kind of over the caravan shotgun. Let's try something new. This one's a legendary and it's good money. So I will sell it and keep the original. I don't like the legendary perk that much. Extra armor. That one's not worth much. Not selling my perfectly preserved pie. I earned that. Do have a lot of junk. I don't know if I want to do much modding right now. Thank you, kind Let's ditch sir. it. Fusion core. All right, we're at 918. Oh, this only uses 38 rounds. This is broken. <laughs> this is so good. Give me that microfusion cell. Maybe I save those five millimeter rounds. Use that to make up the difference. Yeah, this only uses 38 rounds and it has somewhat decent damage. That's very good. Let's see. Come on, please shoot well. Oh, it's automatic. Reload's pretty good. 
shooting is eh. hey the gun audio is okay and it's this running animation again I think I like this a little bit better than the one with the magnum I guess we could take a quest here the latest hairstyle from Move along. Don't let the stress of life kill you. Relax with some cam. Sim free shopping. Uh, what quest should we do in here? Newcomer. Uh, Kitten Cooey, thank you so much for the prime. Abbott at the wall. You read the paper? We did so many quests with Iron Man. I'm like, I want to I wanna try one we haven't done. Let's do the radio guy. I haven't done Travis's quest in a while. Um, hi, there. Nice to meet you, Travis. Travis. Name's don't, Far Harbor. Uh, don't don't break my stuff. If you uh, if you don't if you don't mind. This radio station. Um. Well, uh, <laughs> Isn't his whole deal? He really wants to get laid. There aren't any other ones. So you got to take him out to shoot some people. So. Oh, you got to talk to the guys at the pub. That's right. That's right. I kind of like Travis as a DJ. Don't bother, pal. I ain't seen nothing. Do you guys like nervous Travis or confident Travis on the radio better? Hey, Juve, after half a year of watching your videos until I fall asleep, I finally catch you live. Hey, I think those Bobrov brothers are looking for you. Just stop, okay? I was going to say, it sounds like, uh, at least from a few things I've read and oh, here the first go. few responses in chat, Quiet, you All right, you. most people Diamond. like nervous. Diamond City Radio is terrible, yes? It makes you want to cut your own ears off. Hey, 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 you're going to get us claimed, bro. Come on. It's not that bad. Blah. You don't know what you're talking about. This DJ Travis, he is bad for our business. He makes all the customers unhappy. So we must turn off radio. But Tim, it's true. Don't Confident Travis sounds brother. too rude, Someone like he's trying too hard. We need a new DJ for the radio. I don't think many would notice if he, you know, disappeared. Sounds good to me. Yeah, I'm in. All right. Now. It has to be done quietly, with no fuss. Maybe lead him out of town. All right, that's enough. But him isn't serious. He doesn't really want to kill. It Travis. sounds like he's. Good. <laughs> it's, yeah, he seemed like he really wanted to. He seemed pretty serious to me. No, no, no. He, he was only kidding, right, Vadim? <laughs> it, it's true. Only jokes. Travis is a good friend. Yefim and I worry about him. Well, Travis, he, he means well, but he does not have the confidence he needs for that job or anything else, really. And so he's always awkward. He does not believe in himself, you see? He expects he will fail at everything, and so he does. Well, that can always be turned around. Exactly. This is what I'm telling Yefim. Go on, spoil sport. Go back to working. We will figure out how to help Travis. Come, you. Meet me in back room. We discuss plan. Cousin, let's go bowling. They do kind of sound like uh, Roman. Cousin Roman. Me. Might attract someone's attention. Have a nice day. Man, I really want to go bowling in GTA 4. Hi there. I don't know why. It just feels like such a time capsule vibe. All right, where do we start this quest? To Confidence Man. We're only solving the real problems in the wasteland. What do you want, Vadim? I am glad you are willing to help. Unlike my deadbeat brother. Travis is a good guy. He deserves better life. I'd be happy to help. Okay, so Travis needs to believe in himself, yes? Believe he is capable of more. You know what works well for this? <laughs> A bar fight. Ever been in one? Haven't met a man I couldn't lay out. 
Hell yeah, Nora. Because you that is so awesome. Travis win his first fight. I want to stay. I'm gonna let him beat the shit out of me. Nothing too serious. Uh, we make sure Travis wins and feels good about himself after. I want you to be there to help make it look real. What do you think? Sound good to you? That sounds like an absolute disaster. That sounds terrible. You sound like a fiend. Come on, this will work. I have contacts, people I can count on, real top looking. They confront Travis here at Dugout. Just then you and Travis take them down. Nothing gets too rough. And Travis I'm gonna try and shoot this guy. Pull out a let's pull out a handgun. If the goons are getting paid to fight, I want some too. Nora, you can't say that word. <laughs> you can't say that word anymore, Nora. Doesn't work like that. Who is a good man? I have everything ready by six o'clock. Travis should be here by then. You show up and it will go well. Promise. Gooning is now canon in the Fallout universe. All right, so we chill out here till 6 p.m. Mid fight, I pull out my handgun. I'm still hungry. I'm not eating the pie. All right, where's Travis? This is the, oh, there he is, there he is, there he is. Okay, this looks like the greaser that we're probably gonna have to fight. Bull. Don't worry, Travis, I got your back. Can you just, can you just leave me alone? Maybe hey I don't there, like pal. your little oh, radio program. You. What you have to say about that? I think I fucked this up. You need to grow a spine, pal. <laughs> While she's armed. I didn't ask for this. Grow a fucking I'm spine, Travis. Have a dream. You think I'm playing? I don't. I have no idea what I did to deserve this. I just wish they'd go away. Let's do something about this then. No, no, I. I that might end badly. With these men, it could. Well, it, it, it could turn violent. Yeah, that's the point. Nothing will change unless you make it happen. It's not that bad. I can just, I can just, I can just deal with this. Oh my God, this guy is pathetic. Don't worry, I've got your back. Well, if you think it would work, I'll be effective. Uh, okay, that's well, that's enough. Oh, I'm sorry. You say something. I said, I said that's enough. Leave me alone. I'm so proud of him. <laughs> Look at you. Hmm, let me think about that for a second. Uh, nah, I don't think so. I, I mean it. Leave me alone. It sounds like you were thinking about saying, or else. <laughs> were you, Travis? Were you going to say, or else? I'm wondering what comes after that. What you going to do, little man? This guy's doing a really good job of selling it. You up. Big mistake, Travis. I'm going to destroy you and your friend here. Oh, it takes the gun away. <laughs> I almost had it. Wait, why am I getting attacked? Oh, my God, Travis, you don't need my help. Holy shit, Travis. Oh, OK. All right. You'll bounce back. Lay off my new boyfriend. Get him, Trav. Hit him with the combo. Dude, he did all that on his own. I love how the action music's going off. Well, he's already confident. Look at him. Sitting in the blood of his enemies. Hey, Travis. This is such a bad idea. Why am I doing this? This is such a bad idea. Okay. Are we done here? <clears throat> ah, 
God, my jaw. Can I use this? At the, get up, get up. I, I don't, I don't, uh, okay. Okay, I thought the quest break really broke. Don't. Oh, God. This is why, this is why. Yeah, that's why you don't jump my boy Travis. Travis. Whoa. I, I can't believe it. We did it. I knew you had it in you. I'll give him some positive reinforcement. You were right. Whoa. I've, I've got things to do now. Listen, really, I, I can't thank you enough. <laughs> I think that went well. <laughs> Ready for the next part of foolproof plan? We get him laid. Bring it on. Good attitude. It's nice and easy. You have seen Scarlet, yes? She has worked here for some time. Now, I am just simple bartender, but I see things. I see how Travis looks at her. And I see that sometimes she looks at him. If someone who was not her employer suggests that she go spend time with Travis, it might do him some good. Wait, I thought you had to take him out on like a quest. I could have a chat with her. <laughs> yes, I know. Just do whatever it takes. To... And you and I. Sure. If you don't live here, you ain't nobody. Got it? You'll get used to All right, that. Where's Scarlet? Is she not in the. Yeah, she's not in here. Just ignore her. I do. That comes later. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. No spoilers. I don't remember exactly how this one goes. Hey, I mean, I mean, I mean. hi. Okay. Oh gosh, he's still awkward. Hi. This is critical. We have to address this stat. Where it is? Something bad went down in the old museum of witchcraft in the cell. Oh, she's out here smoking. Oh wait, no, she's not smoking. Miss. I'm on a break right now. She was definitely smoking. Travis, you don't need to be with her. Actually, I'd like to talk to you about Travis, if you have a moment. Travis? Really? Did he... Did he mention me? Yeah, I heard about the fight. Travis was... Well, he was brave. <laughs> Not exactly. <laughs> yeah, well, let's just tank his chances. Because if we tank his chances and he bounces back from it, then, uh... You know, maybe that just proves he's more confident than we thought. Not exactly, but it wouldn't hurt to check on him and see how he's doing. Oh, you really think so? I mean, I've definitely noticed him. Maybe... Oh, she's just as no, bad as he is. No, I couldn't just go over there. Persuade, th bribe, threaten. Look, either you can go visit Travis or you can go visit the doctor. Your choice. What the hell? What <laughs> that that did make zero sense at all. Uh, well, let's just bribe her. There's 20 caps in it for you if you just go pay him a visit. What kind of girl do you think I am? All right, hussy. Look, Travis is a nice guy. I can tell that you like him, and I think he likes you. Just go talk to him. Okay. Okay. There's zero chance that that works after threatening her. If you don't go see Travis, I will beat the fucking shit out of you. Okay, well, all right. If that, well, I'll pay you. I'll, I'll give you 20 bucks to go see him. How about you do it for free? Like, we just kept negotiating the price cheaper. Probably nothing. Some guy came into town. No takesy backsies, though. You made a deal. If she's falling for Travis, she already needs to see it. There's nothing inherently wrong with Travis. I knew it. He was up to no good, and look what's happened now. I was gone for 30 minutes. I can't do it. Would you calm down? I can't understand a damn thing. I can't calm down. They took Vadim. Th those men, th the ones that messed with Travis, they came back, said Vadim owed the money, that they had a deal. He, he wouldn't pay, and then they grabbed them and said that they would make him pay. And then they just dragged him out? I was just outside. How did we miss this? Please tell me you can do something. Fine, fine, fine. Uh, it's not really my problem, though. Hey, man, this isn't my problem. Please, I'm begging you. He's my only brother. I know he's stupid, but 
his family. I can't lose him. Dr. Travis. Maybe he knows where they took him. Why the hell would Travis know? Unless they like beat up Travis and gave him a hint. But nothing about Travis has led the idea that he would know where they're at. Oh crap, we gotta hurry up before Scarlet gets there. Or maybe we just observe from afar. Go on, Scarlet. Hey, we had a deal. Wait, hold on, that doesn't look as cool. Yeah, yeah, there, there. Hey, we had a deal. Get in there, talk to him. Flirt, canoodle. Share fun stories. Peeping Tom, how, wait, why? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. What's going on? Is he talking to him? Oh, I thought he was talking to her. I need your help. Vadim's been kidnapped by Bull. That's not funny. I'm not joking around, Travis. This is serious. I really do need your help. Wait. Really? Oh. Oh, man. Wow. Is this. This is because of what happened, isn't it? It's. It's my fault. 100% actually if he wasn't such a giant pussy then they wouldn't have hired those guys and yes this is absolutely your fault and it's on your head if something happens to Vadim so start talking it's actually kind of messed up <laughs> just put all the blame on him he didn't really do anything wrong I don't, I don't really I mean I don't have a lot of friends what is voyeur what's a voyeur or in trouble or whatever then I'm gonna help get him back is that like a swinger all right, I'd welcome the help. Good. A peeping Tom? I didn't, I didn't want to have to argue about it. Really? I've heard enough to know they'll probably hold up at the old. Wait, I thought a voyeur we gotta go in there. was like an adventurer. And you know, somebody who sails out on the back. sea and everything will be okay. looks afar into the distance. Right? I'll I see land I'll on the horizon. Captain! There. We'll Once this. again, another adventure complete. In the voyeuristic lifestyle of Captain Goldtooth or something. Voyager is Exployer. I'm on a break right now. Star Trek Voyager. Oh, vo yeah, Star Trek Voyager. Mostly to jail. Well, no, I don't know. I mean, yo, that's a tough word. But I learned. You guys helped me learn. That's what's so awesome about you all. I never claimed to be intelligent. Okay. Do yourself a favor and just yes. say yes. Oh, noodle cup? A thousand is absolutely ridiculous. I can afford three noodle cups. It's all he understands. I'll take them though. Still thirsty. Now nah, we should be good. Let's go. This gun's gonna carry us. It's got decent damage. Fully automatic. Sick reload. <clears throat> well, to be fair, sailors kind of have a habit of voyeurism. There are some well-known Navy stereotypes. I mean... Hey. To each their own, as long as things are consensual and... You know, there's no, no one's getting like spied on. You know what I mean? Why am I meeting Travis there? Look, he's got 90% of the scary stuff done if he's able to travel through downtown Boston and get to this place. I'm probably gonna run into multiple super mutants along the way, like right around this corner. There's four of them. How did Travis get around them? There, well, that guy's got a nuke. You're telling me Travis got around this guy.
Uh, the damage fall off is pretty bad. Let's push through. Okay, never mind. This thing is pretty sick. I'm finding a lot of that varmint revolver. I want to say that's like the fourth, fifth one I found. I hate this little trailer. It's always in the way. I always want to go over it. He used a stealth boy. Do you think that he had the tactical know-how? To throw on a stealth boy? I'm not so sure. I don't know if I'm buying it. This is mine. You're dead. All right, let's let them fight the robot. Yikes, fall back. This is really good though for a 38 caliber this early in the game easiest ammo to find fully automatic yeah this gun's crazy good i'm gonna roll with it though i swear to god i need validation so bad i get so happy when a streamer reads my message xd thanks drew for making my day you better be smiling right now i swear worth every sept he runs a radio station he has some know-how. All right, yeah, that's a good point. Because the stealth boy, at least in the ways we see it activated, I would like to see the show. That would be some cool shit, actually. I want to see like a... I want to see a stealth boy get turned on. Or like... I want to see somebody with a broken arm inject a stim pack and then their arm like repairs itself. That would be funny. But at least all, everything we've seen so far in the game of using a, stim, uh, a stealth boy, you just click one button. I would assume operating a radio was harder than that, especially seeing as I haven't set up my XLR mark, mic. Will they do VATS? I don't know. Like it, in the Halo show, they did a few fight scenes that were like first person helmet view, and it was pretty cheesy. I can see Vats looking a little bit cheesy on TV. God, you're here, so this is it. Odds are, if they've got Vadim, he's inside. We're we're gonna be okay, right? Definitely. Oh, I meant to say not we'll likely. Fine. Okay, okay. How did you enjoy yeah. the eclipse? I mean, I can do this. Totally. Honestly, worth the hype. Uh, any last minute advice? You shoot first. Thank you, ask kind questions sir. Later. Got it? Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Let's get him. Hell yeah. You're going in with that thing? Do you want a better? Hey. No, you don't want a better weapon? All right, Travis. Follow my lead. Keep eyes on the corners. Watch out. Hold on. They have a detection device. All right, they won't know we're here yet. Breach and clear, Travis. Nothing there now. I think my dog's messing him up. Oh, Travis is alone. God damn, look at you go. Just took him on 1v1? I'm dead. I'm so dead. I'm so dead. Oh, reload. Wait, do you not have a gun? Why, why would he do that? Hold on, Travis. I gotta heal up. Why didn't the guy arm himself? They just did a kidnapping. I was like, I threw the last fight. Wait till you see me now. Huh. 
Who's pushing with a shotgun? Someone's under me. No. Or above me? How does this guy get to be essential? I wish this gun had a little bit more oomph to the actual sound effect of it, but it's pretty high quality. I will right, come back for you later. Okay, that's bullshit. Stay down. Police, save me. I'm trying. Police, save me. Are these guys bugged and they're like permanently essential? <laughs> Bro, <laughs> Travis, finish the job. Is it set essential? What's the what's the command? Oh, hold on. Maybe they won't be hostile. Nope, they will be. Travis has my back. Oh, Travis, you're a stud. All right, there has to be a command. Set essential. Well, I already have their ID since they're selected. But we could try. Set essential. Four, four, three, three, eight C. Zero, does that work? We could try, who's that? That's Bull, right? Help. Bull, this music is making typing in really intense now. Set essential, 433890. Fuck, that didn't work. That didn't work. I don't think, I don't know if disable would work. Well, maybe we had to wait for him to get up. No, okay, that's not gonna kill him. God damn it, <laughs> it's, that's not gonna kill him. Set essential, base ID zero. Wait, yeah, that's what I did. I did help, bull, four. We bring that up, set, essential, and then his number is 433890. Maybe it doesn't work if he's standing up like that. Let's figure out who this other character is. Maybe it doesn't work if I enter it in while they're downed, but now that he's up, let's type it in again. No, it's still not working. Huh. All right, Vadim. 
Y'all are getting on my nerves. So are you, Travis. Gouger. Help. Gouger. Four. Set. Essential. ED. Six, six, five, zero. Don't you have to enter the zeros? I don't think so. I could try it though. Zero, zero, zero. Well, now, n now he's down. So maybe this guy's up. Let's try it here. Try set essential. Zero, zero, zero. No. Unfortunately. Try to leave and come back in. I guess, yeah. All right, Travis, let's go. These guys don't want to die. Mission failed. How the hell do I even get out of here? Won't be able to pick oh my God, the door's on, like, come on. Let me out of here. I can pick this. Unlocked. No shot. What is going on? I've never seen this. It says in the wiki that set essential zero and should work. Okay, well, we'll try it. Set. Well, now they're both down. We'll do set health 100. Okay, that didn't work. It's probably set health two. No. I found a solution on Reddit. <clears throat> All right, Travis, put the gun away. So it should be set essential and then gouger's ID. Zero 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 ED six six five. It's not the six 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 that's up here, it's the one that appears. Uh, I'm probably covering it. Zero. And that doesn't work. Okay, so. Let's just move the quest stage forward. If anybody knows the quest stage, I will disable these two losers. Go on inside. Yeah, I had the right IDs of the characters. We'll just set the quest stage. If anybody knows what the quest stage is, Lime Sherbert, you seem pretty dialed in. Quest stage 90. Oh shit, what's the uh Police! S save me! Hi. Police! S save me! What's the syntax of it? Is it SQS? Is that what you type in? I gotta stop scratching the back of my head. It's like it's becoming like a tick now whenever I look at chat. Uh, I slash life. Thank you very much for the prime. I missed that a little bit ago, but thank you. It does sound like he's saying police. Police, save me! Whoa, what the dog? What the hell is the dog doing? <laughs> he's getting a massage from the weapons workbench. Okay, set stage zero 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 two a zero five. Two. Is that what it is? Damn it, chat. I know th the dog is gone, but I need syntax. Caleb Moylan, good to see you. 
It's one two. Two two a zero five two two a zero five. Set stage. Ninety. Wait, didn't you say eighty before? Oh man, that was a nightmare. All right, Travis. Let's get the hell out of here. Man, what a day, huh? Yeah, hey, you're listen. telling me. I wanted to say thanks. This has been, well, it's been crazy. But I've learned a lot, I think. You came through it all pretty well, Travis. I should have insulted him again. It's good to hear. Thanks. After all this, I think about the things that had me worried so much, and it just seems silly, you know? Like, was I really that worried about just being on the radio? I mean, did you have a bullet hole in your chest? Being beaten up, shot at. I can do so much more. And I need to. Anyway, thanks again. I owe you. Quest complete. Great work, everybody. We did it. We have done it. Travis has become a man. He's now hot and cool, and it's all because of us. So I mean, maybe we just go full overpowered with this automatic pistol and go right into Gunslinger. But I think this is gonna sound weird, but I'm gonna take Locksmith. Oh, I didn't even loot the chest in Thank there. There's definitely time, an end dungeon chest. Uh, Zaylum, thank you for the prime. And Ink Demon, good to see you. Uh, we appreciate you. Thank you very much for gifting one. All right, I'll tell you what, chat. As much as I enjoy some of these more laid back, casual streams, I am missing the zest, the zeal of, you know, a challenge run. I gotta, I gotta be honest. It's a little zesty. Got some spice. That's kind of cool that the shotgun traps are set up with caravan shotguns. I guess there is no end dungeon chest. I missed it? I'm not going back in there again. I don't think I missed a chest. No, I don't think I missed, no. No, I think I cleared it out pretty well, actually. Um, I'm pretty sure I, I. Yeah, no, I. I didn't miss it. You, you, if anything, you all missed it. Ooh, speaking of, let me in. Sweet. Uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> Nothing great. Get me out of here. Holy shit, that's a lot of radiation. It's actually a lot of radiation. That's not good. Mr. Dillion, good to see you. Unpaused menu playthrough when? That would be, is that a mod for Fallout? 99% sure there is one for Skyrim. But that would be. That would be a challenge. I like to slow the game down and think through things. Ah, oh, let's go. Okay, we got a grease gun. New gun. New gun number three. I've used this one before a long time ago. I'm not sure if it's aged well or not. Oh, what the? Why, why is it? Oh, I don't like that at all. It's got the pipe rifle sound. 
I think that's just because it's not fully auto. I swear. When it's full auto, it has a different sound effect. I mean, the reload is good. Fantastic, even. We gotta get that puppy full auto, though. Until then, we'll just glock our enemies to the ground. Way too good. Let's see, hold on. We have a decent amount of ammo now for this little varmint shotgun pistol. I think that uses the combat shotgun sound effect. Which is okay. It does feel pretty good to shoot. We're good, we're good, it's all good, it's all safe. This gun... Can't tell if it's the gun that's fucking up my... Why am I... Am I essential? Did I accidentally essentialize myself? Okay, these things are everywhere. What's going on? There's too many of them now. No, no, I'm not a fan of it. Short light. Okay, is it automatic though? Hold on, hold on. Let's see how essential I really am. I did like the minimum damage possible. Uh, maybe there's another landmine over here. Maybe this car explodes. Oh my god, I am essential. I, did, I, <laughs> I didn't know you could do that. What green screen do you use now? Uh, we just painted the walls back here. Your infection, oh, not infection, it's the worst. Set essential zero. Set essential 14 zero. What the, what the hell? I don't know what happened. Yeah, great time to be a believer. We are invincible. I'm never going down. I mean, if you think about it, I didn't really even die there. Like, the game kind of glitched out weirdly. And then, uh... Yeah, that, I, I think that ghoul wasn't actually supposed to spawn there. So, like, it's only fair. I don't understand what I would have typed in that made me essential, though. That's where I'm confused. Fire rate 33. Yeah, 33 is the... That's single shot. I think the grease gun looks cool, though. Oh, hold on. Oh, careful.
Let's try something. Let's get back to Sanctuary. It's part of when they get stuck essential, you get turned essential too. No shot, that's actually awesome. So I'm invincible now, the quest broke. And no one can kill me. The ad I just got claimed that it is the moviest movie of the year. Well, the person before you got a bald ad. Are those targeted ads? There it is. Ooh, wait, how can I make all these? Gun not rank one for armor piercing automatic. Okay. Yeah. Hell yeah. What about, can we get a drum magazine? Oh, that would be cool. Drum magazine would go pretty hard. Well, let's just try this automatic. See that, now when it's automatic, the sound effect feels a little bit more fitting. It shoots fairly slow. Doesn't have a lot of kick. Feels a bit off, but still pretty good. <laughs> Can't be targeted. I'm lined up harder than baby Juve. Wait, if you can't die, then spray and pray should be the goal. Have you spray and pray a ton though? It's only a 45, not gonna have a ton of kick to it. Yeah, but I want like the video game, you know, I want that blah, 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 blah. You know, I want to feel like I'm blah, blah, blah. You know, like all the guns in Helldivers kind of feel like that. Like, blah. I need that. I need that extra oomph. I love the oomph. Where's my spout? Oh man, fuck infection. <laughs> it's the worst. Oh, somebody asked earlier if I've shot an actual gun before. I have. Not many, but I have. Um, a pump action shotgun. That was pretty intense. Um, a couple handguns. A weirdly, this is a random one. A, uh, what was the Japanese bolt action standard issue rifle in World War II? What was it called? Um, someone help me out. Arasaka, yeah. Yeah, it was in Arasaka. Um, and that thing was weirdly. That was my second time shooting a gun. That was. At least I was more accurate with it than with. Um, the, any of the handguns that I had used a year or so prior. But I've only gone shooting twice. Okay, I'm dying. Oh, I know what to do. I'm just going right to Diamond City. I'm going to the doctor. What happened to Nora's voice? I don't know what's going on with my game. Something happened. I think I need to like just save and reload. Try and figure out what's going on. Same quit to main menu. Yeah, we'll just desktop it and reboot. Maybe then my character will, you know, die. Yeah, my game is messed up. I did add a lot of different guns to it. Maybe that's what's going on. I don't think the guns would do anything, though. That just, like, affects loot tables. Leveled lists.
I picked up the legendary essential gun. Yeah, maybe that's just one of the legendary drops we got. It's a silent buff. Two mods replace. None of them are weapon replacers. All of them just add weapons to the leveled lists. Also, Red Storm in Diamond City is kind of wild. A new file to open. You Hurry up, Doc. Literally dying. Is this about I'm dying. I'm dying. Fungus growing on my toes. It's cracked. It's spreading. Yeah. Now, go over your sim. My fingers weren't webbed. Now they are. I'm pretty beat up. All done. Any I need to keep thing? watching your streams. Loving this one. Is this your first time here? Did you just randomly stumble across right. this on Twitch? Nope. How many people in chat found the channel by just like randomly stumbling upon it on Twitch? Spells all hope. Okay, we got one. Overtired from lack of sleep. Again, I make fun of this a lot, but I swear overtired as a diagnosis. I think that that was just a thing that was invented by suburban moms. I swear, like like when a kid starts acting up a little bit. Hey, I'm me. not tired, mom. No, no, stop. You're overtired. Okay, you're going to bed. I think it was a lie. I think it's a psyop. <laughs> it's a it's a committed psyop by the moms of America. True, you don't need sleep. Sleep is all actually you do. You do need sleep. Like genuinely, I've gotten really, really poor sleep the last couple of months. I think it's been fairly obvious on some streams. Have a nice day. Even some videos, because, okay. Uh, let me tell you something. If I am ever doing a sequence of a video where I'm like on the camera and I'm talking or like I green screen myself, just know that is within 30 minutes of me getting out of the shower and like, you know, like I, I, I'll do myself up. You know, I'll try to look a little handsome, okay, for the camera. It's presentation. The amount of people when I opened up, uh, was it Skyrim 30 days? I opened up that video and just kind of let people know like, hey, we're doing uh, these thing called super cuts on the second channel. The amount of people that replied to that and were like, dude, you look so tired. Are you okay? I was like, uh, uh, this is me at my best. I was, I was trying to like, I was trying to look good. <laughs> I was like, I set myself up. I did the hair. I was clean cut and lined up the beard it's feeling good. I mean, it was only like an hour after I woke up, so maybe I was a little groggy. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Run, run. Oh, my ill again. I just went to the doctor. I hate this game. This game sucks. It's stupid. Fine, I'm going back to the doctor. Stupid doctor, I'm going back. Dump disease, always stupid infection. Hey, hey, I see. How was the adventure? Uh, yeah, short lived. I already got worms crawling out of my butt. Stupid dumb. Mongrel dogs. You look tired is the most of it. I swear, it's like, yo, yo, hey, hey, relax. You look so exhausted. Well, I feel good. So what are you saying, huh? <laughs> you saying I look like shit? And just say that. Honestly, I think I'd respect that a little bit more. Dude, you look like ass. What's going on? Ah, it's been a bit, it's been a bit rough the last couple weeks. Ah, I've been sleeping well. Thank you for noticing that I look like shit. Whatever it is. You're not the doctor. None of you are the doctor. What time is the doctor up? Can I get adamantium? Oh, I need one more endurance.
You're essential anyway, what does it matter? Um, I don't know, maybe I'm not anymore. Let's see. Am I essential? All right, we fixed the game. Juve was kind of my gay awakening, TBH. Hey, you know what, Greasy? If you found yourself, that is, uh... You keep looking at me well, like that. good for you. Actually, that's pretty tight. That's pretty fucking sick, actually. No loitering. Anybody know where the doctor is? That is the first, though. No. Oh, God, I thought the game broke again. Okay, I figured it was a time thing. It's a lot easier in Skyrim. You know, I just, like, hit the button and I see what time it is. All right, where's the doctor? I'm going into your basement. Let's get you examined right away. Time is not on the side of the surgeon. Yeah. Now, go over your... Th Got roughed up. Uh, you look fine, but... Oh, wait. Yeah, that's... Ah, yes, I've seen this one before. It's the same disease you had 12 minutes ago. Was there anything else bothering you? I love this dog. He's so sweet. No other complaints. Take better care of you. Like, how did they just get the mocap? Like, I wonder how much this dog cost to make. Worth it. No funny business. Like, look at that dog. Whatever you're gonna ask, I don't know anything about. It. Any other great dogs in games? Cause none really come to mind. I think this rendition of dog meat is an awesome video game dog. Rex, eh. I mean, like, Rex is a dope character, but in terms of, like, mocap and whatnot and how the dog acts, Rex isn't like a dog. Fable 2 dog? Oh, Fable 2 dog is pretty good. Barnabas from Skyrim? No. No, nope, I'm gonna stop you right there. No, we're not giving the dogs any credit in Skyrim. <laughs> I hate those dogs. They just never stop. It's 24 7. MGS5 was a weird game. Oh, okay, yeah, the dog was great. Also, yeah, weird game. I mean, great game. Honestly, I'd still probably say it's the most fun stealth action espionage type game that I've played. I'm dead. Holy fucking bad aim! <laughs> what a way to go. Entire leg gone. Alright, I'll, I'll make a fallout one. I'm gonna have to make one. So you get one of those fancy vaults? I actually think if I was, like, really in the post-apocalypse, I think I hit those shots. Okay, let me ask you. Over, under, how many days do you think if you took me? Me. You just take this guy. Like, if you put me in the apocalypse. I don't want being covered up by text. But, like...
How can this game have worse dismemberment than COD World at War? It doesn't, because in COD World at War, if you lose one arm, there's two hands on the ground. If you lose one leg, there's two feet on the ground. If you blow off both legs, there's four feet on the ground. Try again. Um, if I was in the apocalypse, not, 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 not the apocalypse, if you put me into Fallout 4, everything is the same. I'm the one coming out of the tube. Over under how many days can I survive if I have all the knowledge of Fallout 4? Max one week, instantly dead, rad roaches would get you. 30 minutes? Guys, come on! I can get past the rad roaches. Well, I guess we'll see. Well, what is your pain tolerance? I think I can live. I mean, I'm not even close to y'all's estimates. I think I survive in the Fallout, like in Fallout 4 on my own, like on this exact map with this exact spread of content with all the same factions and main story and everything. I think I make it a year, 365 days. Um, and by that point, there's going to be a Molotov. Oh, shoot. Okay, I'm out of ammo. Nope. See, my problem with this gun, God, I'm out of ammo, is that the audio of the shooting is faster. Than how it actually shoots. I'm hitting this. But yeah, I think I can make it a year. And I know you guys are probably just going to judge me really, really quickly and be like, OK, you're not even taking this seriously. But like, think about it. I am easily getting out of vault uh, 111. Thank I'm, get, I'm getting sir. out of the vault. I'm not even I'm not even going to entertain the idea that I don't make it past the rad roaches in the vault. Um, I get to Sanctuary. I link up with Codsworth. Easily, easily getting past that. Because Codsworth is going to kill all of the bloat flies. Uh, there's more than enough stuff at that town to build up a radio, get some settlers arriving. I get them to arrive <clears throat> and then I play, you know, without leaving for a while. I just can't leave Sanctuary. I stay there. Preston Garvey and crew, they're just going to be holed up at Concord for a while. I ignore any and all quests in main story. The Brotherhood never arrive. I build up the sanctuary. Um, I mean, I guess we probably get raided quite a few times during the first year. But depending on how well we recruit, I might not even have to like be on the front lines of battle. I could just send settlers off to do it. It depends on the quality of raid that we have. But I think I could for sure sur survive a year. You wouldn't even pick up dog meat? Thank you, kind sir. Okay. What about rad centipedes? What? Oh man, if that's a thing, if they ever put that in a Fallout game, I'm just not playing it. <laughs> no, no, no interest. I'm good. Yeah. I guess the fog crawlers are kind of close to that. Locks really strong. In uh, Far Harbor. But not quite. Alright, am I bound to, in this fake scenario, am I bound to the mechanics of Fallout 4? Or would I be allowed to grab three settlers and be like, yo, follow me. Let's go on a little adventure. Why is there a scold enemy in here? I 
hate this scope. I gotta get rid of it. Okay, bound to the... I think... Alright. Bound to the mechanics means... I get the advantages of all the mechanics and the disadvantages of all the mechanics. So at this point in the game, I have access to no followers. I'd be stuck at Sanctuary. You can't get Codsworth as a follower until you at least clear Conquered. Uh, and, you know, that's a tough one. I'd have to get into a suit of power armor. And kill a Deathclaw. And, yeah, the shootout at the Conquered Museum. I don't know if I can get through that on my own. I think with adrenaline and everything, I can run longer than the main character. Like, if you think about it, if I was getting chased by people shooting at me, that's not that long to be sprinting. That was like, what, 10 seconds? Greetings from Vod Enjoyer in the UK. J-Bo, good to see you. You've died 11 times over the course of today. Yeah, but that's different. That's like... I don't actually have to care about my survival in a video game because dying in the video game doesn't mean I die in real life. What do you think this is, gamer with Gerard Butler? You know, a shotgun's great insurance against raiders, but I got a lot of options here. Is there a challenge right now or am I just bad? Oh, just bad. That just completely ass. Something for everyone. How good are you at running? Not very. <laughs> this is assuming I get buffed with adrenaline. Guns and bullets? Stickers? What does that mean? Ooh, classic hunting rifle with no scope. I take that. I sell you the one with the scope because it's just not as fun to shoot. Grease Thank gun, you, get out of here. Sir. We've got our automatic grease gun, but I am going to sell it. I'm kind of over the grease gun. I'm kind of just low on ammo across the board and money. Thirty-five auto round. What does this gun use? 38? Oh, then we got to go with 38s. I don't know what ammo to get rid of, if any. Ah, plenty of drugs. Screw it. I don't need Rad X. Don't need Mentats. I do like Jet and Med X, though. Nice. Okay, now we're getting our little loadout. You got the shotgun pistol, automatic pistol, hunting rifle. Beautiful. I really gotta sleep again? This is pissing me off. I'm not sleeping here. I'm going to, we're going to go to Sanctuary. Do the workbenches work the same in this scenario? Yes. I, I think this is assuming that I can use the game's mechanics just in a real life setting so like i'm still incredibly fast at scrapping an entire house on my own with no help and i'm still good at building stuff like if i want to build a recruitment radio beacon i should be able to do that in this scenario which i would do 
I would build that. I would hang out at Sanctuary. <clears throat> See what kind of attachments we can get on this bad boy. Okay, that looks ridiculous. Is it just me or does standard magazine kind of look cooler? Oh, silencer would be crazy. All the silencers look very cool on this gun. I'm going to take it off of automatic. Automatic feels a bit weird with it. Let's see how it feels semi-auto. That actually feels better. A little bit more punchy. Reload animation is good. How do I not have cloth? I came here to just make a bed. Steel. There we go, we got a little cloth, a little bit of cloth. It's coming up, Millhouse. Cloth. Did I get the special book? I think I did. Would y'all survive in Skyrim? I think that would be hard. Especially if you think about like the game mechanics, right? Like if you have the Fallout 4 game mechanics to like your advantage, if you can use them freely, I actually think it would be easier to survive in than uh, Skyrim. I think so. Hey. Good to see you again. Did you do any sports in high school, Juve? I'm picking up baseball vibes. Yes, I did play baseball. Hey, Carla. You again. I wasn't very good. I've got a few. I got a little bit of it. I only tried really hard in the lead up to like one season. Because I knew I would play a little bit that year. But even still, after, you know, working pretty hard. For me, working hard for, like, my standards. By by pretty solid athlete standards, uh, <laughs> I still played way too many video games. Which, hey, I'm okay with it. it. You know, things turned out pretty okay for the most part. Um... But even still, after like actually putting in some effort, at best, I was like a right field nine hitter. Thank you, kind sir. And on any roster that was on any level competitive, I wouldn't I wouldn't have even like sniffed the field. Guff Sizzle, thank you for the tier one. Playing sports in high school is meaningless when you're 27. I mean, maybe in terms of like you know, depending on like how you're thinking about it, but it's still a very formative experience and there's still a lot of lessons that you learn via sport at a, you know, younger age. I learned how to fucking lose. I think it's a pretty important lesson. I learned how to try hard at something and still suck ass. <laughs> I got pretty good at that. I did a lot of losing. My basketball teams as a kid we sucked. Most of my baseball teams as a kid we sucked. I sucked. I wasn't really helping out the cause all that much. We lost a lot. My team went 0 and 32. Man, we suck. 0 and 32 is kind of wild. That, that's a lot of losing. I would be surprised if the team was able to, like, even retain players. If they were, good on the coach. Owen 32 over two years. Yeah, 
that's 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 pretty tough. Hold up. It's popping off. Dog me, you take the dog. Or not. Yeah, yeah, grab the wrist. Break the wrist, walk away. Break the wrist, walk away. You know, there are some assholes that'll try and tell you that that is not cool. That was, in fact, cool. Thank you, kind sir. Needed that. That was a point blank shotgun. Second shot would have killed me. Damn it. First time catching a stream, been binge watching your YouTube and loving it. Scotty Dave, good to see you. How did you find the channel? What was the first thing that crossed your feed? Do you like Fall Guys? I it was the Fall Guys one, wasn't it? That's what uh that's what caught your eye. The projectile cinematics are so much better than Skyrim's band. Band? <laughs> nope. No, come on, like, guys, come on. Can we stop hating on the Skyrim kill cams? They're so cool. Like, when the arrow is gonna hit, even when it misses, it's still funny. Like, it's, it's hilarious. Like, it's, <laughs> it's, it's awesome. It's, it's a feature, not a bug. I think it adds to the experience. Cause then, when you get the kill cam, it's not that it's you you don't know still if it's gonna hit there's some uh, You gotta sit back a little bit when it when they do it in fallout and it tracks the Thank bullet you, all the sir. way You know, it's gonna land. There's no surprise Everybody Quiet quiet what kind of movement is that what species is that crocky Worth every septum if you're not playing Fall Guys right now, you are missing out on quite possibly the most engaging cinematic survival horror masterpiece in gaming history. If you play Fall Guys and you have a bad time, I are. I don't know, man. Maybe video games aren't just your thing. All that being said, I'm gonna give Fall Guys a console pleb score of 5 out of 5. This is a perfect game for any console casual gamer to pick up and play in this holiday. Leticia Lemon, thank you so much for sending your stream over. Now my chat can stop making fun of me about my Fall Guys experience. Uh, Leticia, do, uh, do you like Fall Guys? Does your chat like Fall Guys? I hope they do. Uh, thank you for sending your stream over. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Uh, which head? Which one would you shoot? Let's reposition. Oh, wait, wait, maybe he's not. Oh, I don't know if he notices. Okay, shh. Let's get into a better position here. Rocky. Look at that mammoth. Look at that big. How many legs? One, two, three, four. It's got six legs. Four. Holding it up. Two kind of sprouting out front like, um... Uh, they kind of remind me of two things. One, Alien, when the little baby goes Brah! out of the guy's chest. And two, that one SNL skit where Kristen Wiig uh, had doll hands. 
and she sang in that really weird voice. Hey, me, 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 me. I don't remember how exactly she sang, but does anybody remember that uh, that SNL skit with Kristen Wiig? She had like a crazy hairline, doll hands, little T-Rex arms, kind of. Mm. That was a good shot. Even after killing one of their fa valued family members, the rat stag still stays in position calm as ever. This proves that the deer that we killed was completely meaningless to them. So we have not hurt them in any way. Their bloodline is intact. The biodiversity of this area can still continue to thrive. All we did was kill a deer that didn't matter to, you know, the others. Oh, we killed a doe. No, oh, I didn't realize we killed a doe. You shot a doe. Put five more dollars in the machine now. You son of a bitch. If you guys don't know, we are talking about Big Buck Hunter. I need to be careful how I say the name of that game because YouTube's little AI that doesn't like the C word is gonna be like, ah! Big Buck, pause, Hunter is the name of it. I know I said I didn't want to come here and do this quest. I'm going to. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling confident. My shots are landing. Let's try this bad boy out. I got four bullets. Let's make him count. Okay, they're dead. Did Wait, did dog me kill them all? My aunt passed away from cancer yesterday, and after hearing the news I stayed up binging your videos to keep my mind from going down a bad spiral. Thank you for all your silly videos, and for helping people like me go through hard times. Much love. Uh, Pixie Time, I'm very sorry to hear. I hope you're holding up alright. Thanks for spending some time with us. Appreciate that, I hope you're feeling better soon. I'm not very... I'm not very good at this, but I am very thankful. And sorry for your loss. That is a, that sucks. Oh, that's so, that's not a good, you can't just say that sucks. <laughs> that's, no, I'm not, I shouldn't be laughing right now, okay? I, I, I shouldn't, I shouldn't. Gen genuine, sending love, sending love. Um, it is... <laughs> if, well, now I'm thinking of a scenario where, like, somebody says, like, dude, Juve. Or, like, if, if somebody, like, let me know, like, someone, someone personally I knew. <laughs> Never mind. Bedtime. Bedtime for a bit. I, I, I'm not gonna lie. I like holding this pistol. It just looks cool. Like this looks sick. I want to walk around with the gun held like this all the time. Hell yeah. oh, oh, I'm out. I'm out. I'm dry. Thank you, kind sir.
That feels way better. Sounds way better, too. We'll be all right. We'll be all right. Proved I'm a gamer with my lack of social skills. See? I know I proved the doubters wrong. Fuck you! That's a window! It goes through the window! <laughs> Fuck it. Come on! I hate that window. That window has killed me, like, way too many times. Stupid game. Man. Great. Now I've just turned my dog into a conduit. Okay, this game would be crazy if opening up the Pip Boy did not pause the game. fire off all my shots, you know? Like I'm in a movie shootout. Like that. You just kind of don't really aim. You just have to shoot. Suppressing fire! I can't be the only one that does that. Oh, shit. I know I'm thirsty. Thank you, kind sir. Yes, for the B roll montage. For the B roll montage? <laughs> I do need one of those. Oh, you're right. Yeah, just like firing like that. You can sync it up with the uh, drum beats of a song. That was the battlefield theme in E. I'm not throwing it. I'm not. <sighs> this bitch. Oh, no way. I hate this game, dude. I hate this game so much. Oh, my Lord. All right, no more fucking around. No more playing around. Akak, you go down immediately. Time to do some gamer shit. No, 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 no. Oh, are you shitting me? That didn't count. Reset. Bring it back a little bit. Hey. 
That didn't work as well as I thought it would. I thought it would blow up a bit bigger. We're in better shape this time, though. No, 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 no. Back corner, come on. This should not be that difficult. I don't know what's going on. We made it. Uh, and anyway, that's how you clear out this uh, first little dungeon. That's going to get us our first uh, settlement, it's called. Sometime, huh? And then they go down. You get the locket. That's, uh, yeah, we're just going to bring that back to Abernathy Farm. That'll get us our uh, first settlement outside of Red Rocket and Sanctuary. That's going to start us down uh, my favorite quest line, actually in all of fallout which is unlocking every single settlement in fallout 4. it's easy follow my foolproof plan and you'll get yourself there nice. you're reinstating my gamer card good thank you i know i had to battle back a little bit to earn back my status and title as gamer How does, that, how does that get me sick? Intel room key. Intel room? I feel like I've never seen that key before. Ooh. Come on, I see you. You got stim packs in there. It's the room upstairs with the magazine. Oh, come on, chat spoilers. The room upstairs. Uh, in here? Ah, wow. Okay, mini nuke. Nice. Bayoneted classic hunting rifle. I do kind of like that over the one that I have now. Sweet. I don't know if I've ever gotten into this loot room because usually I get here. It's too early for me to unlock the door. I never really go for lockpick and fall off or early. And I guess I've just never found that key. Oh, the magazine. I did miss the magazine. I'm grabbing it. I'm grabbing it. Which one is it? Nice. Apparently more. Oh, well, that's pretty good. That's a very good magazine because it's essentially just a stealth perk. It's 
pretty killer. Not gonna lie. Damn, I leave for an interview and you've already died 14 times. Were you were you thinking about how many deaths I had in the middle of your interview? Or, or what? What did you, well, well, how'd the interview go? Did it go well? I hope so. That should hit. Three shots. Man, nah, I'm not buying it. I think we can cook down here. Chat, we should interview Juve. All right, go ahead. Go ahead. Hit me with your best interview question. Come on. I think it went well, but we'll see. Haven't had much luck getting a job in my field. Well, hey, we're rooting for you. Why do you deserve this job? That's not a good interview question. What was your biggest Thanks. failure and how did you deal with it? Um. Well, I guess more recently in terms of YouTube, but probably would be, yes. I think the only video I've ever done that was like a resounding, hey, I didn't really like this all that much was when we did the very first without leaving Soul's time. And the majority of people really, really didn't like it. Uh, they didn't like one of the rules that we did, and that, like, totally sucked. Like, I, I can... Perfect. I can take shit from random chuds on the internet. You know, who just like to chat shit. But... Uploading something and having, like, my actual audience kind of shit on it. Yeah, that fucking sucked. But I've talked about that a few times before. How did I deal with it? Um, I kind of reevaluated and thought about the stuff that I really, really like to make, the stuff that you all tend to enjoy, which for the most part is a beginning to end nonsensical storyline. And so I just kind of committed to it. So it was helpful in a way. Where did you hide the money? That's not an interview question. How would you deal with a rude customer? Depends on how rude they were being. Hey. Looking to earn some caps? I could... What do you need help? Yeah. The leaks will be on. up to and including physically removing them from the premises. If they're being that big of a fucking asshole. We love nonsensical storylines in this company. Well, I, hey, I'm glad you do. It seems that we're aligned, you know, in our in our belief there. It, it seems that there's a really nice crossover in our values. I think that's always important, an important relationship between company and employee, matching values and principles. After seeing my TikToks, Look, hey, we already talked about my dark past. Let's, uh, can we please? I, I asked for that not to be included in the interview. All right, that or Fall Guys. Did you ever get a job from your major in college? Yes, I was very blessed to fairly admittedly fall ass backwards into a great job. I interviewed really, really well um, the very first time. Maybe if I close off this intake, I can get enough pressure. And so I did that for five or so years. Have you ever worked in the food industry? I worked at Jimmy John's. Excuse me. That's a ticket. For you do the honors. I worked at Jimmy John's in high school for a year. I worked at Jimmy John's in college for multiple years. I was a biker. In college, I was a bike delivery boy. 
And let me tell you, for a college gig, uh, delivering sandwiches on a bike, incredible way to stay in shape. Incredible. Highly recommended if you are able to get a spot biking for a local Jimmy John's for like side cash while you're in college. Hmm. Nice, another legendary. slows down for a moment when chambering the final round in the magazine that's terrible <laughs> like on a pipe weapon oh what a brutal drop there should be some way to... ah there it is what is your criminal record one speeding ticket <clears throat> my loves i guess i shouldn't be surprised that started off anyway i still got some tea Thanks for pitching in. Would you have any issues passing a piss test? I would fail one. If I took one right now, I would fail a piss test. I had 15 grams of edibles last night. <laughs> I'm about to have 15 more before I watch the Fallout show. I'm gonna. I'm about to. Fuck yeah! Are you serious? It's gonna be awesome. Even if you studied. Oh, stop, you're doing the play on words. He doesn't even know how to pee. Uh, you know my first... You, oh, you, okay, kind of a crazy story, though, relating to, like, drug testing for a job. So, when I was in college, I knew that I was going to get the gig that I was interviewing for, and it, it was an incredible opportunity. Because... Up until that point, I had zero clue what the fuck I was going to do after school. I remember calling my dad one time. Man, this is like the third story I've meant. Oh, I guess. No, I don't know if I've told you guys the other one. But anyway, I remember like basically kind of being in tears one day talking to my dad because like, you know, a bunch of my close friends, they started lining stuff up and they were finding internships and all this stuff. And I hadn't found shit. And I was feeling both like disappointed in myself and like honestly really insecure and inferior to you know my friends that were starting to find really nice gigs uh and so like i eventually i i get this opportunity it's a great job and like i'm really really excited about it and i knew one person who had done this job because they gave a presentation to my class about it. So I asked my teacher, I was like, yo, teach. Link me up with that guy. I wanna get lunch with him because I wanna ask him a few questions about the job. I just wanted to ask him, is there a drug test? What kind of a drug test is it? Please die. Where did my damage go? Where did my damage go? What's happening? My output is terrible. Wrong button. Fall back. We can do this. We do this with, uh, we do, oh my god, it, oh my god, it's, it's actually, okay, that was clutch. So I really just wanted to ask this guy if there was a, a drug test, uh, if there is one, British aim, if there is one, what kind of, oh god, they're getting close. Oh, go, go, run, run. What a fucking throw. No ammo? Four rounds.
Uh, so anyway, why am I 25 pounds overweight now? Oh shit, one's charging right towards me. Alright, soundtrack, chill, chillax, return back to story, I'm alive, it's all good. Minus eight intelligence. Trying to figure out where my carry weight went. Looks like it came back. All right, no clue what happened there. Anyway, back to the story. So I get this, I get, I get this job offer, right? That I, it's a great opportunity. And I'm like, all right, I want to meet up with this guy because I just wanted to ask him about the drug test. And I was like, hey, I'm going to be real with you. I brought you here for one reason. I got, got real quiet and nervous, leaned across the table. Is that a drug test? We were in the middle of a Jimmy John's. That was, that was my first uh, ever business professional lunch, I guess. <laughs> I was at a Jimmy John's. The same one that I worked at. Don't open doors like that, dog meat, it's scary. And he goes, yes, there is one, and it's a hair test. Also, you have like 20 or 30 days, whatever he said. And my heart sank, because I was ripped the night before. And for the past 21 nights, approximately. <laughs> so I shit myself. I was like, <gasps> Because if you didn't know, a hair test tracks back about 90 days on average. Um, they're not very common anymore, especially at the company I worked at, because they're just very expensive. Also, they probably realize that there's a lot of really fucking smart people who like weed. So I did a hair detox. I did this thing called the Majuko method, where I bought this very expensive soap. I put, uh, it's amazing that I still have hair. It's amazing that I still have hair. Because the process, if I remember it correctly, you could look it up. You could look up the Majuko method for detoxing hair. It essentially involves burning your scalp. It was, uh, I'm trying to remember the process of it. So to do like one session of this method, I did this twice a day roughly for about two weeks until like it actually started burning my forehead. Facial astringent, which if you're not familiar with that, it's the stuff you could put it on a cotton ball and then like use it to really like heavily clean your face. It's very strong stuff. So I would scrub facial astringent into my chair, shower cap it for eight minutes, take the shower cap off, wash it out. I would do the same thing. Uh, no, no, no. After you wash out the facial astringent, you would use the special expensive detox shampoo in your hair, shower cap it, wash it out. I think you would wash it in and out twice. I'm trying to remember the process. After you do the special shampoo, then you have to wash your hair out using Tide liquid laundry detergent. And I did that twice a day for about two weeks. And you know what the fuck thing is? I did get a hair test, but I didn't get one until like 140 days later. So I did all that for no reason. 
Yeah, it was tied. How the fuck do you still have hair? Uh, dude, it got to the point where my forehead, like right here, was actually starting to peel. It was getting pretty painful because facial astringent is very strong. So I don't know if the method that I did actually works or not. However, I did have a friend at the time who maybe about a half year after me also had a hair test. And I told him about this method that I did. I couldn't confirm though if it worked. And I knew this guy was much more into the chronic than I am. Shit, I'm overconumbered again. Uh, let's drop Vermin Revolver. I've found a few of those. Uh, this guy actually only had two weeks. And he passed. So, does the Majuko method work for detoxing your hair? I have at least one testimonial that says it does. You're going to hit 50 and all your hair will fall out at once, possibly during lunch. Never worth damaging your health for a job. Uh, depends on the gig. Depends on the trade off. Okay, we got to figure this out. Overkin numbered, jet addiction, nuka cherry, caffeinated, dehydrated. Oh, we need water. Okay. Of course, I need concrete. It's always concrete. Please let me fast travel. Oh, damn it. I got to drop like 20 pounds. I'm already bald at 27. I'm down. That's okay. A lot of people are bald. One of my best friends is, for the most part, bald. That's all good. Wood chipper? This thing weighs 50 pounds and I'm carrying it. That was all my weight. I don't know when the hell I grabbed that. Okay, so I definitely got it out of one of the bodies. I probably got it from uh, one of the... What's it called? The ghouls. We're putting Tide Pods in our hair. I accidentally sent it too soon. I wonder if that's still around. Like that method for cleansing one's hair. It's kind of annoying too when they do a hair test, they like pull your hair back, pin it, and then like take a really long snip all the way down to the root. And like, it leaves you with this bald spot underneath your hair that you can feel. Sucks. It's like, why? Why don't you just relax, dude? You just take it easy. What was the company? Uh, that's classified. That is information I will not share. Maybe one day. Days are harder than others, but even the hard days get easier than the one before. What kind of work was the gig? Automotive, food, chicken taco. Yeah, I worked at a uh, chicken taco truck. They were just really, really strict on, you know, weed. It caught me off guard. I was kind of surprised. I was like, whoa, really, guys? 
Come on, it's a food truck. Like it's a, it's the restaurant industry. Oh, working at a taco truck would be so sick. I can rest easy. Just being around that much incredible food. Thank you. Do you need anything? <clears throat> if you're here to trade, let's trade. I'll take a look. Sure. All salvage. I don't really know what I'm looking for. I don't really have a game plan on this stream. I'm just chilling and playing the game. She doesn't have anything good. She doesn't have shit. Nothing. All right, maybe uh, 38 rounds. I can't even afford them, really, though. It's some ammo, but I, I burned through ammo with this pistol really quick. <clears throat> I'm too baked for a gameplay today. I am sober. I've never streamed high. I would be so bad. Have you ever considered streaming Wells High? No. I get... I get too anxious. You know, I never really look at YouTube studio much after like the first day or two of a video being out. But I used to. I used to like get high and I would look at it and I'd be like, oh, my God. These people hate me. <laughs> like it, it would be like one comment that is like, dude, this guy's kind of an annoying little prick. And I'd be like, oh my god, what's wrong with me? I don't really do that. I don't think I could really handle chat. I'd have a harder time probably moderating the chat. Oh, hey, I remember being back here. Yeah, good to see y'all again. Eleven percent. Never tell me the odds. Oh, come on. It was worth a try. Do you have chat mods? Yes. dude all right you know what game i would like to play what would be a fun baked stream is one of those like crazy uh rpg overhauls that basically just turns minecraft into skyrim fall guys not fall guys no not happening the second somebody sends that copy pasta as a text to speech while I'm high playing Fall Guys, I crawl out of my own skin in embarrassment. I molt. You ever seen a gamer molt? You don't want to see it, okay? It's not a pretty process. It's like leaving behind a silhouette of Dorito dust. Where's my dog? Okay, now I'm remembering. I'm remembering when we didn't leave the road. 
Can I survive that? I know how to survive that. We already learned this trick in Skyrim. Nope, okay. It doesn't work in Fallout. The clothes don't have a hitbox like they do in Skyrim. Nora has pretty good form. Like that running form. You were a lot thinner during the Fall Guys review. Wow, thanks, man. Worth every septum. Cheer 100, cheer 100. Thank you for reminding I me that the Fall Guys copy pass to exists. No problem, Jedi. Yeah, that's actually so funny, <laughs> dude. Um, please, please, please don't say that to like uh, an actual person. Yo, yo, Stacy, you looked way hotter when you were in college. You know that, right? <laughs> like, please never say that to someone. Holy shit. Damn. Uh, this may shock you, but I know. Could you take Swan on right now? Okay, Swan is bullshit because of the rocks. Swan starts throwing those things. And they like, first off, they break physics because they curve. That's bullshit. They're heat-seeking missiles, not rocks. Oh, no. they, okay, I keep finding a wood chipper. What? Is that because I added the rocket launcher to my game? Is it something you wear? I don't know what it does. I did get a mod that adds the rocket launcher, though. What's your FOV setting at? 90. At least it should be. Oh, 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 can I make this jump? Hell yeah. Oof. Okay, that would have been hilarious if I said it was like, hell yeah, crunch. I kind of hoped that my legs would crunch because I did quick save. That would have been funny. What's your opinion on console mods? Uh, they're not as good or robust because of the lack of SKSE, but there are still some great ones out there. I'm not really sure what Fallout 4 mods are like, though, on console. If you are such a godsend, you have no clue. Been having a rough couple of weeks due to my fiance of six years breaking up with me. You always make me laugh, though. Jeez. I appreciate you, man. Doge dance. Vernal, sorry to hear. That's a bummer. Damn. Thank you. Appreciate it. Fuck, that sucks. Yeah. Chat, chat, are you guys good? You guys all right, man? It's been a rough one today. We've had some loss, really bad breakup. This one chatter thinks I'm fat now. <laughs> this one chatter has uh, absolutely zero social awareness. Um, yeah, like, yeah, it's been, been a rough one.
Not that. Okay, no, all right, all right, all right. Well, I, I gotta clarify that. We're all here watching the Fallout 4 <laughs> streamer. No, we aren't a K slash J. I don't care. All right, I am. I am well aware that I am in worse shape than I was four or five years ago. But who the who the fuck, who the fuck says that, man? That's kind of crazy to me. Like I don't. I'm not hurt. What the fuck was that, dude? Jump in the water. You can't kill me if I'm under the water. <laughs> yeah. Oh, nice. Okay, you can still pull up heels while in the water. Over here. Fuck. These guys are tough. What? Why? What's going on? That's. I need that to hit. I think we got our critical. I think one of them had an explosive gun or something. Caravan shotgun, nothing special. Does it have like an explosive shot mod on it? Dragon's breath shells. It does. Okay. I'm going to take that. Because Dragon's Breath is cool. If you're not playing Fall Guys right now, you are missing out on quite possibly the most engaging cinematic survival horror masterpiece in gaming history. If you play Fall Guys and you have a bad time, I are. Okay, that I pistol don't sucks. Know, man. Maybe video games aren't just your thing. All that being said, I'm gonna give Fall Guys a console pleb score of 5 out of 5. This is a perfect game for any console. Why, okay, when when, when, when did te text to speech get like unlimited talking time? I thought that thing had a limit. Since when, unless you guys optimized it so it gets the maximum amount of time possible out of the TTS. People are just jealous of your forehead. Goddamn, a fly couldn't lend. All right, hey! I'm very sensitive about my tiny forehead. It's very small, it's only a three head. It's very small. Okay, this just looks cool. It might not be very effective, but from hip fire, this is just cool. <laughs> it's, it's awesome. Zero range, zero accuracy, zero damage, 100 cool. Hell yeah. That's badass. I'm keeping this. This is my new main gun. Reload looks good. Irish Pride Industries Shipyard. I'm kind of Irish. I'm part Irish. Well, not like true Irish. Irish American. Sweet. Fuck. 
finally some enemies more my speed. No fucking way. It's actually a Meyer Lurk Hunter? I don't know if I can kill them. Definitely not with this thing. Uh oh. Yeah, I forgot they have a ranged attack as well. Five Molotovs. Ooh. Oh, that was a good dodge. I'm holding down the alt key right now. Okay, this is actually good practice though for Far Harbor. This is making me realize how utterly and completely fucked we are. Far Harbor might destroy me. <clears throat> how many videos is Far Harbor, Harbor gonna take? Got it. I remember this place. Guy thought he could tame a Meyer Lurks with positive reinforcement. You can't? Watch me. Hey, buddy. You're looking real handsome today. Where are you? Come on. Come on out. There you go. Good job. Now calm down. No. Easy, easy. Ow. Please stop vomiting on me. Come on. I've got a cool model train set. All right, okay, he doesn't like trains, fuck. Uh, uh, I have a properly organized inventory, wanna see? Oh, fuck, okay, that pissed him off too. Stop it. Okay, he knows how to climb. They climb now? <laughs> so stupid. Did he fall through the hole in the ceiling? Man, whoever did the crawling sound effects did pretty killer. That's not vomit, it's lobster pee. No way, is that in lore? That's insane lore, whoever decided that their like actual way of that is I mean, it, it, both are gross. Stay right there. Well, oh, thank you. <laughs> Bella, I appreciate it. Thank you. It was very kind of you. Oh, no, 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 no. Dude, he, uh, he can fit in the room. Stop. God damn it, man. I thought we had a chance there because, you know, he was caught up. Why did the one Meyer Lurk that fits in the door have to push through? And go figure that's not the one that killed me. You have a PhD in marine bio? I confirm it's P. Wait, you're a marine biologist? So am I. Th th there's no way. Point blank, that... How much damage does this thing do? 31, it shoots out five rounds, and I'm point.
Arthur Vandalay, is that you? Okay, thank you, thank you. All right, all right, all right. I was like, I was like, wait, is Arthur Vandalay Seinfeld? I was referencing Seinfeld. I don't know if this is how I would run if I had a magnum. How much is this way? Okay, this thing weighs six pounds. Could you imagine full on sprinting with a six pound weight in one arm? I wouldn't run like this. I would probably hold it to the side and run like this. No, it's, it's just uh, an animation like the weapon itself has custom animations. Is this going to be a video? No. It's not a bad animation. But if I had a six pound weight in my hand, I'm definitely holding it to the side and running. I could have gone my whole life and been fine not knowing all about lobster piss. Look, you come onto the stream to get educated or you go. County Crossing. What's up, County Crossing? This place kind of sucks, you know? Every hey there. Who on really earth at Bethesda help. said you know what we need? Giant fucking mosquitoes. That's I'd what players want. I can. Something nasty. Right? What's really to... If you could make sure the old... No problem. I hope so. It's kind of like, I feel like every game ever has a couple of enemies that they were just added in to be dickheads. Blood bugs, Cazadors. Feral Ghoul, Reavers, and Fallout 3. If you're playing Fall Guys right now, okay. you are missing out on quite possibly the most engaging cinematic survival Yo, chill, chill. You're going to make me have to, like, history. cut the text-to-speech time. If you play Fall Guys time. and you have a bad time, I are. I don't know, man. Maybe video games are right, just last your one. thing. All that being said, I'm going to give Fall, Fall Guys, guys a console gets score banned. of 5 out of 5. Hard this rule. is a perfect game for any console casual gamer to pick up and play in this holiday. I don't what quest did I pick up? Clearing the way, secure the workshop, but it's sunshine tidings. All the way over here, across the whole highway? Yeah, I'm not buying it. 13 rounds, four rounds. That's not happening. That's a really high level super mutant base. Where are the crickets at? Uh, are the crickets Nuka World? Do they jump? I haven't played Nuka World in so long. Would you ever play Noita? So I've never played it. I know nothing about it. I have only heard that it's very good. Nice, that was a big hit. Shot tracking, not bad. There's a Fallout show coming out this month. There's a Fallout show coming out in like four hours. Not even that, it's, it's in like three hours. No, 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 no. Oh God, they're on everywhere. Stop. <laughs> Die. Yeah, that's right. Somebody tagged Jabbo and me just turning off all the radios. <laughs> Two and a half? Yes, you are right. Oh, 
Oh, you only get five hours on this mattress. That's kind of dumb. I sleep in a dirty mattress every night. I get way more than five hours on a good night. Red scorpion. You guys want to bet I can kill this red scorpion barehanded? Watch me. Doesn't count if it's not a 1v1. That's bullshit. Doesn't count, doesn't count, not a 1v1. Rules are voided. Challenge voided. Nope. Challenge is void. They broke the rules. Worst part about fighting rad scorpions. Ah, oh, you got me. They will like, they'll break the vats camera. So if you vats attack them, it's really hard to build up a critical. But I remember their moveset fairly well, just because of all the time in the glowing sea. Why am I walking? I'm walking towards like the deadliest portions of the map. I'll be back. I'm going to run to the bathroom. Every septum. Holy shit, chair gaming. Thank you, kind sir. Am I a waffle or a pancake guy? Cher, how I love you so, let me count the ways, one. Oh how I revel in your beautiful silence, two. Two? Uh, am I a waffle or a pancake guy? Also I know I walked away and I forgot to play a song for y'all, sorry. I forgot to play some away tunes. Uh, I'm gonna go with a waffle But it's got to be crispy man, you know, it, I'm, I'm starting to get sick of this Flimsy flaccid waffle trend of like yeah, it's a Belgian waffle Oh cool cool. So it's you know crispy on the edges and No, it's soggy And it's just nah like French toast Come on, man. No one's taking French toast number one.
No. No. French toast is your number one? Hey, no hate. Belgian waffles aren't meant to be soggy, though. Look, all I'm saying is that when I get the Belgian waffle in the, in the restaurant, wherever it is, whatever breakfast place it is, there, there's, like, some kind of thing every where... Cheer 100, it's, cheer 100. If no one is taking French toast number one, then him no one. It's It's got, like, you got the waffling lines, right? I need each and every vertical and horizontal line on the waffle to have its own crisp level, where right now it feels like there's a heat map on the Belgian waffles I have had in the last couple of years where the center of the heat map is less crispy and it's only, like, the outside of the circle that has the most crispiness. Do you understand what I'm saying? No? <laughs> all right. You know, I tried. And maybe I'm just making all this up. I could just be gaslighting you all. No, that's not gaslighting. I think all of you are crazy, and all of you don't know what you're talking about when it comes to waffles. I think you just aren't remembering. Oh, there we go. If we got one. If you're not playing Fall Guys yeah. right now, you are missing out on quite possibly the most engaging cinematic Let's survival go. horror <laughs> masterpiece in gaming history. Sorry, Sea Dragon. If you play Fall Guys and you have a bad time, I are. I don't know. I was explicit man. about that. Maybe one. video games aren't just your thing. All that being said, I'm gonna give Fall Guys a console pleb score of five out of five. This is a perfect game for any console casual gamer to pick up and play in this holiday. Sorry, I, think I they, have to. I think they wanted that to happen. I'm gonna assume they got a kick out of that one. Like, just actually getting banned. I'm so trash. I'm so trash. God. <laughs> Oh my, I'm in the corner. I'm stuck. Oh, okay. Turrets, watch out. Turrets are a problem. Those are problematic, but we can get around it. All right. All good. Is it weird that I say ow when I get injured in games? I don't know. I do it a lot. Like if I play Hell Divers and I get hit while running, I'm like, ah! Ah! Ugh. Ugh. No, it's not weird. Oh, okay, okay. Extremely normal? Well, I don't want to be in trouble, I hope. <laughs> Out here? You gotta take things one day at a time. I don't know who that guy is. They're giving me... Are they an actual settler? I think they're a synth. My synth detector is going off. What just happened? Ooh, ooh, wait, 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 no, 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 shotgun's too good. Not a synth. Damn. That would have been awesome if they were a synth, right? <sighs> this is a weird playthrough so far. gonna sound really weird but playing fallout right now kind of
kind of makes me want to play Skyrim, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Ooh, Broadsider could be kind of fun. Maybe we see, yeah, let's see what's up with this quest. I kind of, I kind of want to play some Skyrim right now. No, I, I need to do a Fallout challenge. I think just like playing kind of standard and casually though, Fallout. I need a little bit of that challenge zest. Scanning, scanning, accessing pre-war records. Record found. Driver's license S nine one. Do I mind calling you Lobster Pete from now on? Six two. Lawyer, ahoy there, citizen. You are hereby conscripted into the Congressional Army. So now I'm in the army. All right. Your cooperation is greatly appreciated, madam. The captain requests. Wait, how does this work with Nora? Cut the double quick, madam. Do they just switch around a few of the lines so it's like she's been conscripted into the army? Because with Nate, aren't they like, you, sir, you have military service. But like, if you think about it, this Nora, she was a lawyer. She just kind of ended up in the, uh, you know, I agree, actually. There's been a lot of, uh, not discourse, but like just kind of fun fan debate about, you know, if there is a canon character for Fallout 4, is it Nate or Nora? And while I think that, uh, I guess Nate and Nora both do have pretty iconic vanilla looks. I would lean Nate as the more like when you think of Fallout 4's main character, you think of Nate. But I think Nora fits better as like a canon MC because I forgot who made this argument. It might have been. Uh, I want to say it was. Why am I blanking on their name? Why am I blanking on their name? Who makes the awesome videos they did? Uh, you know, Fallout 4 is a nightmare. This is why. Why am I forgetting the channel? Yeah, and Nate narrated the intro. Up is not jump. Thank you. Up is not jump. Um, I think they were they were talking on Twitter the other day, maybe a couple weeks ago, and they said something along the lines of they think that Nora would be the canon main character because in most of the Fallout games, the main character is just kind of like either a vault dweller or like a courier or, you know, uh, I think Fallout 2, you're in a tribe, you're a descendant of, like, the Fallout 1 main character. So I guess they have some, like, wasteland experience in Fallout 2. That one's a bit different. But, like, most of the time, you're just kind of this person who's been thrown into the wasteland, and they got to figure shit out and become a badass that way afterwards. Hey, an allied soldier. Do you have a birth? Disable defenses? Make way. So, like, Nora is a bit more fitting in that respect. Service rifle. Automatic service rifle. Can I get away with this? Okay, nope, they are upset. I just want to try it. It looks cool. That was worth it. This is the captain speaking. We're taking all This is what you get for trying to be a COD streamer. Disable defenses. Make way. Uh I have streamed Call of Duty before, okay. I hosted a two V two gunfight tournament. Way back in the day. Please afford him all appropriate courtesies. Him, I'll show you, bastard. Unidentified. Intro derp. Intro derp. Mr. First Mate, this is the captain. This soldier is no intruder. Requesting permission to use lethal force. 
Try that, and you'll be nothing but scrap metal. Thank pal. you, kind sir. Threat detected. Awaiting permission to terminate target. Stand down. That's an order. And for God's sake, use the accent. I, <laughs> Captain, standing down. Here from YouTube. I love your vids, man. Cal51, I appreciate that. Good to see you. Do you have enough charisma for the will you comply loop? Is there an XP exploit here? Captain Ironsides. I'll have none of your lip, Mr. Navigator. Have the crow's nest scan two points off the port bow. Jump to it. Aye, Captain. Our soldier has arrived. I trust the first mate didn't give you too hard a time. Been too long since we've seen the congressional army. You haven't seen this quest before? Wait, really? Uh, Fury, thank you for the prime. Thanks for calling him off me. The scan shows you have the proper number of appendages still, so all is well. I am Captain Ironsides, commander of the USS Constitution. You visit this fine vessel in trying times. Be called these long years on her airy perch. Damn you, Weatherby Savings and Loan. I spit at you. I'm getting shot at right now. A sad state of affairs Thank for you, such kind a sir. historic ship. On that, we are in agreement. What vexes me most is my inability Vernal, to appreciate you. Thank you for the tier one, or for gifting one. Have not but more rats and ne'er-do-wells as targets. Enough pleasantries. The Constitution has systems that need repairs to carry out its mission. If I help you, I expect part of the payment up front. For your services, you will get your fair share of the prize money. At the end of the voyage, the same as the rest of the crew, I consider this matter resolved. Consult with the bosun and Mr. Navigator. They will relay your instructions. Dismiss. What is happening? Scavengers approach. Soldier, man the cannons. Kill the Thank you, kind sir. Lowly, what watcher finally makes a stream? Let's go. I mean, you give me cannons, I'm gonna use them. Oh, dude, did I blow the load too early? I don't know if I should have done that. Quick, iron size. Do you have a service rifle or something below deck that I can use? All right, sweet. They do. They just have a cooldown. I don't have ammo. <laughs> I can't really even join in the fight. Oh, the scavs have legendaries? The ship's pretty cool. Defending the I bet they definitely reused some of like the Skyrim ship interior assets for that place. Do you still have bricks to throw? I don't know, can you throw them? I never really tried. I just had them in my inventory. Maybe you can throw them. Back entrance is the best. Let's check. Oh! Oh, oh, for like. You meant like in terms of speed. I thought you meant for legendaries.
No legendary. I know at least I didn't aim at them very much. We're going to vats. There's just like random guts and chunks of them. You're high? <gasps> On my stream? How dare. I'm going to start hair testing chat. That's pretty nice, actually. That's a very nice legendary. Cheaper vats cost. And it's an upgrade. And it looks cooler. I like the metal chest piece look. Look, oh, this is the cutest little generator ever. Look at him. Oh, that's just so adorable. He's tiny. Trying to see if anyone might have like flown pretty far after getting hit. <clears throat> I'm not seeing any, any more legendaries. But I think I'm gonna call it for the day. I appreciate hanging out with everybody again. It was good to see you all. All right, I'll play you out. I'm tired. Uh, hope you guys enjoy the, what's it called? The TV show. Hope it's fun. I don't know when the next stream is going to be. Won't be too long, though. Have a good night, y'all.